figure out how to zoom this stuff. Hi, everybody! I'm back! It's been a very long time at Summit. It's been a whole week! Man! An entire week of no streams. How does he do it? Good evening, everyone! Hello! How was Summit? I can't wait to tell you. I cannot wait to tell you. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Where's chat? I don't know. That's weird. What? You guys should... Oh, wait. I think sub fixes it. Thank you, Jail. I actually think that happened before. What? What the fuck? What? Oh, it broke. Huh? Hold on. One second. Hey, check out Chloe. That's the sponsor for the next week. You can check out Chloe on your phone. It's a real-life crane game, and I'll tell you more about it in a second. What the fuck? What? Huh? This happened to me before, and it just sort of resolved itself. Let me reopen OBS. Hi, everybody! Welcome! Pog for a not IRL stream. Shut up! The IRL, IRL streams were good. You're just hateful. They went great. No problems. One second. By the way, the crane game is, is excellent. I want you guys to know that. Chloe, it's actually good. I did a lot of... I did some research on it. It, it does cost money, but it's actually a good thing. I promise. Damn, Coney, you look good. How long have you been following? You just gassing me up? Is this your first time seeing me? Following since June 17th. I'll allow it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you guys for the subs. One second. I'm getting you guys up here. Maybe Vince fucked it up. Uh, let me see. Wait, did I delete the chat? <laughs> I did! No way. No way I did that. Stop. Hush. Oh no, we're good. One second. You're good. The chat isn't working. One second. Why? There it is. Wait, 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 Got it. What? Okay, there are two of them. I don't... Did you guys see that? Now there are two alerts. I don't know. Thank you. Wait, it's fixed. Thank you, Mr. K. Do you see it? It's like in the background, too. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why it looks like that. This is weird. Sorry. <laughs> Here. Got it. I think I got it. Got it. Here. What? Got it. Somebody sub. Somebody sub. Quick. Sub. Subscribe. Thank you, Magic Hand Damp. Did it work? Got it. Got it. Thank you, Mr. Ken Ken. It's that easy. That's all you gotta do is ask. Hi, everybody. Sorry about that. Um, welcome. 
Hi, I'm back from Summit. Oh boy. Oh, thank you, Vogel Archer. Don't, but hold on to it, because my birthday's on Friday. Did you guys know that? My birthday's on Friday, September 3rd. Thank you, sincerely. Thank you so much. Okay. My birthday is on Friday. Hold on, let me get you guys back up. A little bit more there. Thank you, Simpax. Hi, everybody! Welcome back to the stream. I missed you guys. Sincerely, I did. Oh, what the fuck happened to the str to the goal? Dude, I left for a week and my stream went to shit. How old are you turning? 22 because you look good. Shane, you're pushing it. Shane, you're this close, okay? I'm losing it here, brother. Okay. I cannot believe you didn't stream yesterday to spend time with your family. Yeah! Sometimes I think you care more about them than you do about us. Yeah, I do. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't even have a bit or a joke for this. My bad. Yeah. No, it was good. It was great. I got home yesterday. Uh, so here's what happened. Here's what happened. You guys, how are Mal and Juliet? They're doing great. Um, thank you, Dippy. All right. Here's what happened. Last Thursday? Last Tuesday, I got on a big old jet plane to go to Summit. And I was there from Wednesday to Tuesday. Tuesday. Yesterday. And I got home at 1 p.m. And it was after I landed that I heard about this don't stream shit. And, like, I get it. I understand why I'm not doing subula. We need to talk about it. Wait, I need to talk about this. So I heard about the don't stream thing. Uh, but I, I one, have contractual obligations. I have to. And, two, I'm about to miss a bunch of streams next week because I'm going to Summit. Or going to Riptide. And I just missed a week at Riptide. Or at Summit. Jesus. I'm going to Riptide next week. I just missed a week and a half at Summit. So, I have to stream today. Forgive me. Thank you, Doc. It's, you know, going back to Summit. And, and I had this sponsor in line for a while. Did we really drop less than 200 subs? Yeah. Yeah. What's the don't stream thing? How do I... So, basically, there's an issue that's affecting smaller streamers where they get hit by hate raids. Where basically they'll get a bunch of, like, really nasty, vile shit in their chat. Followers will just, like, come in by the hundreds. We've had it happen here on this stream. Uh, and people are saying not to stream to show solidarity with those people. To say, like, you know, it, this is going to get Twitch get their attention on something. Hate raids suck, right? The problem is that it affected Twitch's viewership today by 5%? Last I checked? Nobody did it? I looked at my following list and I was like, okay, if I don't see streamers, I won't do it. Right? Because, like, I need to stream. But if nobody else streams, I could be like, okay, well, nobody streamed that day for this purpose. Because I do have... I have a fucking contract, right? And then I saw no, every nobody fucking knew about it. So I was like, okay, never mind. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't get me wrong. The hate raid shit sucks, and I hope Twitch addresses it. But I think a single day of going offline, and I, I just don't, you know, I don't think it's going to do, I don't think it's the right way to approach it. And I also don't like the fact that it feels like people are bullying creators into doing it or not. Like, some of the stuff that I've seen on Twitter is like, it, it just... I, I don't know. I think it's a little much. People have different reasons to do or not do what they're gonna do. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, give, don't get me wrong, it, it fucking blows. And I, I feel for these people. Um, and I want Twitch to come up with a solution, but I, you know. Makes sense about the 5%. There's about 9 people I follow that stream nightly. 8 of them are live. Yeah, I think it's a thing. But anyway, uh, 
and at the same time, there are ways to deal with hate bots from the streamer and Twitch side that Twitch won't do anything about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, when I got hate rated, I just put it in sub-only chat for five minutes. And that fixed it. And I'm not saying that's a great solution, because I'm lucky enough to have viewers. If you don't have any viewers, and, like, you, fi you finally get some viewers or chatters in your chat, and it's just those people, that blows, right? But it's like, I, I, that's a complicated solution. Thanks for talking about it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I mean, like, I think it's good to talk about. I just personally can't really participate okay. right now. You know what I'm saying? Don't shame streamers for streaming when you, the viewer, are still watching. Well, that too. You can protest too. Everyone, please stop well, watching Coney's stream. Well, hold stream on a so minute, brother. Go be with his Wait a daughter. second there, player. Hold on. Wait just a minute. Listen, if you're going to stop watching the stream, at least go to the YouTube. I uploaded my favorite video today. Oh my god, dude, the YouTube is my favorite video in a long time. Thank you, Flawless. Seriously, that video was excellent. That video was good. If you're gonna leave, go watch that movie. I That's like my favorite movie, sincerely. That was good. Thank you, Arctic Valkyrion. Dude, we're at 1800. I got no decay. Neat. Okay, let's talk about Summit. Summit was great. Um, I went there. Uh, I, I got there Wednesday, or Tuesday night, and then we went there Wednesday, did media day. So, what they do at Summit, usually, when you get there, is they ask what merch you want, right? They're like, okay, what of the merch would you like to wear? You can wear it through the week, you know, to sort of promote it. That's usually what they do. This time, they literally brought out two loot boxes full of merch, and they said, go. That's it. Didn't moderate it or anything. Seriously. They didn't even care. They just gave... And I took a lot. <laughs> I took a lot. I took a lot. It's a nice yellow, right? It's a nice yellow. <laughs> oh, I guess somebody did the clawy thing. Nobody else do that. Nobody do the clawy thing. Don't, don't do that anymore. <laughs> oh my god. I, what did I just say? Stop the clawy. This moment. Secret Bounty. So this is a sponsored stream. I'll talk about it a little bit. We're actually going to play it tonight. This is part of the stream. But there's, it's, it's basically an app for iPhone or Android. And it's just an IRL claw game. You guys have probably seen them before. Um... It does cost money, but they let you play some games for free, as these people are doing. When you first download it, all you have to do is download, do the tutorial, and catch two prizes, and then the number go up. Listen, you know how I really shill for, like, the Star Trek and the other shit? I'm not gonna do that. Promise. If you do do it, it would mean a lot to me. And if we get up to, like, 60 out of 65, I'm gonna shill like a motherfucker. But... You know what I hate? I promise I we'll hate be okay. how much I enjoy claw the fun lights and Let sounds, sound like that. the cool prizes, and it Lonnie. helps my favorite streamer, Joe Sniffy. Download the app and use promo code SNIFF to help the streamer. Don't do that. Don't do- use that link below, or hit exclamation point claw. Anyway, I go to Summit, I pick up my merch, and, uh, I don't really know if I have any really fun stories for you guys. It was a pretty standard week. I don't know if we, uh... I don't know how we go, uh, how we, how we sort of address this. I guess I could go through the, um, we could go through the VODs. Did Jut ask you about the elevator? No, but I met Jut for the first time, and I love him. Jut's great. Any funny mafia stuff? Well, <laughs> there was one game. Let's go through the VODs. There was one game. There, there was one. I'm not a bad imposter. Shut up. All right. Uh, we can go through bit by bit. Let's see. Oh, did I put on a transition? 
Coney, unfortunately oh God. your link and promo code is not working it at is the working. moment, so please it just check working. use code. La 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 la, not listening. Blah, la, 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 no, it's working. Stop lying. One second. What the fuck? My thing's broken. I can't turn this back. Okay. I set a fade during IRL. Good luck changing it back. Okay, so we're going to go through each of these videos one by one and see where the stories are, okay? So here we go. <laughs> Back to the page. All right. USA vs. the World Crew Battle was first, and I have nothing to say about this. This was, uh, this was boring. It's just Smash. P.U., right? Crew battle. Um, Wi-Fi wor Warrior was funny. Wi-Fi Warrior was legitimately very funny, but like, so the the point of this thing is that they up the lag as the game goes to 400 ms. It was very fun to watch. I liked it. Oh god damn it! I broke it. So that happened. Uh, Puppet Master I didn't watch. Because why would I, right? I did hear Mars won, which was funny because we told Mars... Like, we've had Mars do um, blindfold things for Panda. So him winning the blindfold event was sick. Rabbit Hump was funny. Water Balloon Tic-Tac-Toe was very enlightening. So, there's me. Uh, don't... Don't complete that. Thank you, Beta Cactus, by the way. Don't do that anymore. No more clients. Yeah, these guys suck. So they come outside. Oh, he... He ha he kicked it to the wrong camera. How athletic they are. When Why did he tell me to look at this camera? And he sent to the... Now I look like a f schmuck. Come to this water balloon. Okay, water there we go. So, yeah, so we, con we conducted a bit of water sports. Look at this throw. I used to be a pitcher, by the way. Can you tell? Watch this. Ready? Watch this. Look at the form. Look at the form on this. Ready? Ready? Line it up. Okay. Knees up. I just want a side of plush on hashtag claw e -claw Dude, e yeah. Life. I'm going to show you in a little bit. We're going to play it. But there's Psyduck. There's, I won Julietta Pikachu. It's cute. You see how the knee is up? The knee is up. You're clutching the water bottle. That's how you pitch. That's how you pitch. And you reel back and then boom. Now, I did, I did, this is not perfect form. I will say that. I must admit. Chat, don't make fun of me. Do you see how my arm is bent? A little bit like a girl that's not how you're supposed to throw you have to go it's like fully over okay it's because I was throwing a fucking water balloon and not a baseball so don't make fun of me but you see almost dead center perfect and that was the only time anybody hit the fucking thing we thought this event would be like 20 minutes instead we took fucking forever because nobody could hit this. It got to the point where Ken at Summit was like, we got to speed this up. We got to do something. These children are not athletic. Watch this. He's literally thinking about where he wants to throw it. Ready? Come on, Riddles. Oh, he actually hit it that time. Never mind. It would have been funnier if he didn't. Yeah, so anyway, we do this for like 45 minutes. And it gets worse and worse. Did we get the commentator one? Dude, fuck this. This is so stupid. We did a commentator one and we lost immediately. 
Because my team couldn't throw. And then we did the two out of three and we won. Also, I don't know if you guys will see this. Hold on. So check this out. Peep this one. So we're here, right? And we, we finish the game, and I go up to TK and, and EE. E. I'm like, hey, let's, 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 let's get them. Let's get them. Let's get them. But they're not committing. They're being, I don't know, is that such a good idea? I don't want to throw the water balloons. It's awful cold. I hate weather. That's Just like TK like. and EE, right? I'm like, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Throw it. Do something. Do anything. I'm trying to convince them. You guys won 4 0. I don't want to do it. I don't want to hurt anybody. Thank you to whoever did that. Whoever summoned the clawy demon. I think I need to make that bigger so I can read it. Five out of 65, almost there. EE e is just on his phone looking at the people who tell him he can't throw. So watch this. By the Wait, did my first balloon not pop? It's a record. So the players, I think the players need to learn how to like go outside a little bit more. No, what? I threw it hard. I threw it hard. That's a strong balloon. That's not a terrible throw. You know what it is? I didn't put my leg up. I didn't put my leg up. That's on me. That's on me. Charles didn't even notice. That he got bit by a mosquito. Alright. E -E now, you want to talk girl throw. Look at E.E. -E Visu. He said I had a small dick today on stream, so I'm coming at him right now. <laughs> I didn't watch the clip, but Nirit tweeted me that. Hold on. I don't know if that's true. That's what Nirit. Nirit said something like that. All right, watch this throw. What is that? What is this form, young man? <laughs> it bounced off his back. <laughs> His, his his realization kills me. He actually pogged. TK didn't even throw. He's literally snitching right now. He's pointing. There it is. On the floor. Watch EE. Watch EE. Eh. Wow, it popped on in transit. EE's balloon popped in transit. Okay. At least his broke. Yeah, by his own hand. So anyway... Look what happens. So we're all throwing, right? TK is not participating. What the fuck? What the fuck? Where's my team? Where's my team? Where's my team? Why am I 3v1, bro? He's actually here. EE -E is still on his phone. Help! What the fuck throw was that from Charles? Where's my fucking team? I actually have a bruise. I have a bruise from this, and I'll show you in just a moment. Here we go! Hold on. Can you just, just say, say women throw, throw instead of girl, girl throw, throw, please? please. I, don't I don't want, want you to see that? Canceled. You see what happened to me? This is because my friends weren't there for me! They weren't there for me. When I needed them most, they disappeared. I got a fucking mustard stain. Yeah, that it. It hurts. Okay. Be honest. Is that fake? You think I had Mal apply some makeup before stream to get sympathy? To farm subs. <laughs> guys, guys, I have medical bills. Listen, if you guys could spare any primes, it would mean the world to me. Seriously. I'm going to have to get this looked at if it doesn't heal up by tomorrow. It would mean so much to me if you guys had a prime. If you could just drop it. Seriously. It's piss? How? How could I pee on my chest? Oh, J-Lo, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That means the world to me. Thank you. 
Thank you, Tobinator. Um, yeah, so I got my ass beat. I'm trying to hide. And these assholes are just taking pictures. Cam's on me. We will be back. Nobody's helping. After this break. Why is nobody helping me? Oh, wait, you guys can't see it. You guys can't see it because you just see me. One sec. I forgot the transition. There it is. Thank you, Caramel Monkey. Also, thank you to whoever's completing the Clawy campaign. Guys, I'll show you the game in a little bit. But it's fun. This slide is too slow. Fix it. No. Hold on. I. Okay. I'm trying to fix it. Hold on. No! Stop! 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 Okay. I'm trying to find the fastest one. I think it's 100. 50? <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. Anyway, I'm getting fucking harassed. These assholes are just beaming me. These guys are taking photos. It's content. It's content. Yeah, it's always content when it's not happening to you. You're not the one being pelted with water balloons and getting hurt, by the way, and getting injured. I could sue Ken for this. I didn't start it. Well, well, kind of, I guess. All right, me and Max made, made friends. We made friends. We made friends. By the way, we beat them after this. Dude, he has like four in his hand. What the fuck are you stockpiling for? This dude is the American army. Why do you have all these weapons with no intent of using them? We need to spend all of our budget on water balloons, but never actually fight. You pussy. What's he even doing? TK, the arms dealer. Yeah. Come on. So that happened. Um, Mafia 1. Oh. Is this the one I think it is? Oh, no, I didn't play Mafia 1, did I? I think I played Mafia 2. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care about this. I did not play Mafia 1. Portal Smash was fun. Uh, basically, Alpha Rad, my good friend over here, uh, created some stages to be played, and it's basically, like, different versions of, you like, legal stages, but the portals go places. It was really fun. It was great. Um, Void ended up winning by a lot. He was much better than anyone else. Also, this is unrelated. Mars told me, he was like, do you know what the tag is, Armstrong? And I told him, I, I think that's just anime shit, right? Because his tag used to be like Tendo, which was from a volleyball anime. He's like, no, it's from Lisa. I'm like, it's from Lisa? He's like, yeah, Brad. I'm like, I would have cheered for you way harder. I didn't know that. That's my fucking boy. But then at the, at the after party, I asked Mars, I was like, did Brad do anything wrong? And he was like, yeah, kind of. And I was like, you bitch. Brad did nothing wrong. But he's young. He doesn't understand. But no, I love Mars to death. Uh, anyway, they did. They had Portal Smash. I would highly recommend you check it out. It's fun. It's very fun. Jacob is great. Um, what happened then is a bunch of pools matches. And then I was in a skit. You guys want to go behind the scenes? Okay. So originally, they uh, Jacob had an idea for a skit. And it's based off of this. Hold on. Um, Jacob showed us this, and he was like, I have an idea. I'd have guessed. One, that's not funny. Two, it's not real. Um, Alfred showed us this, and we were like, we got to do something similar. So we had the idea of, we were like, okay, what could we do? And we had the idea of Luigi players, you know, going crazy, doing their combos. And we originally had Spargo in this. He was going to be the Luigi player. But Spargo's young. He's, he's kind of shy. He didn't want to do content. He didn't want to do skits. It was totally fine. 
they were like, you know, he he didn't feel comfortable, which is totally fine. He wanted to focus on the tournament. So uh, Nick comes to me. Nick is the guy that helps make the skits. He's from the yard, you know, Ludwig's friend. Huh? Anybody? Clout? Uh, Nick comes to me, and he's like, hey, it's funny with a young guy, but I think it's funnier when it's old. <laughs> so he's like, I want you to be the kid. And I'm like, sick, right? I'll take this opportunity. He finds a beanie with a propeller on it, and he's like, we have a 30-second clip of Luigi zero to death and Joker um, in stamina mode. And he, I just sit here for like 45 minutes. I'm literally sitting here for 45 minutes doing this. My hands hurt so bad. They were cramping up. It hurt so fucking bad. He had so many shots. He had to get behind me. He had to get the screen. He had to get my face. Dude, this takes a long time. It takes way longer than you think. Because think about it. You got to get this shot. You got to get the clicking in the background. You got to get this. Hold on. I'll just show you the whole thing first. Sorry, in case you didn't see it. Sorry. Timmy played Super Smash Brothers to have some casual fun. Hey, what's up with him? Until Luigi got involved. I don't know, he's been doing this for like six hours now. Ever since he started playing Luigi. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Don't let your kids experiment with Luigi. Luigi. Not even once. That went on way longer than you think. That that laughing, what I told Nick is I was like, because we wanted to ramp up, right? I was like, how about I go one to five? And he's like, yeah, sure, start at one. And one one was just like, <laughs> and then five was like Joker mode. It was way more than that. It was like it was like Arthur Fleck shit. Like, out of breath. Uh, I'm not gonna do it because my baby's sleeping. But this shoot took forever. And it hurt. It was fun, though. It was a good time. Uh, Riddles in, in Void did great. He came up to us with these shirts, by the way. He was just like, these are little kid shirts, I think. And I was like, yeah, perfect. It's just like horizontal stripes. We look like the Peanuts gang. What level is that in the video? What, like a computer? It's nothing. It's it. This is stamina mode, so they don't move. That's all it is. You can do that forever in stamina mode. Oh, the laugh? Oh. <laughs> I don't know, like a three? This is a three. That's a two. This is a three. I can go way more. Don't let your kids experiment with Luigi. I could go way higher. I played a crazy person once on stage. I played Christopher Wren in Agatha Christie's The Mousetrap. <laughs> a perennial stage favorite. It's true. It's a good show. Give us a five? Shut up. So yeah, that happened. Um, it was fun. It was a good time. Coney was a theater kid? No, 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 no. I was a play kid. Not a musical theater. Here's the thing. You guys think theater kids are all the same. There's musical theater and there's plays. I was a play guy. You feel me? I'm cool. Then, uh, the dude, couple. the Buzz built a doghouse and nobody wanted to commentate this and I was pissed. Literally nobody wanted to do this. I wanted to do it. I was in on it. And everybody was like, I don't want to do it. And I'm like, fine, I'll do it. And then Charles came over. And that's my fucking boy. I love Charles, by the way. I love Charles. I knew Charles pretty well. Charles, uh, formerly known as Korean, he's Tweak's coach. Uh, I knew Charles sort of well from the past, but we never got to hang out. This summit, we got to know each other better. He's awesome. He's really cool. And I fucking love the buzz. The buzz is my king. Full houses here and there. So, basically, the buzz has 20 minutes to build a dog house. And after 10 minutes, the dog is come gonna get in there. Tiny little scrappy annoying dog. So but anyway, you know, we start talking to him, we start commentating, thing. you know, whatever. Here, maybe. Uh, the buzz is totally, he doesn't know how to put it together. He fucks up with the screws. He starts taping it. The, the roof is on the floor. That's the roof, by the way. Pieces up. The tape here. I'd be, 
I'll be like this. I don't. This was house, a disaster. Give a point to the doghouse. It's two one. Oh, uh, we're okay. gonna work out. The thing from the bottom is wrong. It just transfers all. The By the way, Charles is a contractor, a legitimate contractor who does this for a living. The way up to the going in that house. So anyway, that's not the ceiling. That's the floor. Slapping it. And I said I I'm not putting the dog in that house. I, 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 Something bad will happen. Oh. And, and then also, Stella came in. Sending in the dog to commentary? Is that... Oh, no. Oh, okay, we got another... There he is. Stella. She is. Forgive me. Another dog. You'll see... Pretty girl. All the pieces. Attached. As much right. as Stella's possible. great. She's like the office dog at Summit. So, uh, she belongs to somebody there. <laughs> oh, what she's a so sweet pretty. She's, she's so, so pretty. She's, she's so excited for this house. Yeah, know, you're doing getting... such a shitty job, but she loves no. you anyway. That, that, that is unconditionable dog, love. You know, just... Unconditionable. I forgot I said that. I was hoping nobody would ever hear that again, and here I am broadcasting it on my stream. Papega. <laughs> I did a pretty bad job this summit, by the way. I'm not happy with how I commentated. Not a joke. I kept, like, I the words were, like, right here, but I couldn't catch them. I hope I'm better at Riptide. I think not commentating fucked up my brain. You did great. Don't be silly. I did fine. You won't notice how shitty I did because there were four people, but I don't think I did great. I kept, like, repeating phrases and stuff. I'm rusty. It'll be fine. Floor. Floorless. Yeah, floor skip is definitely... So anyway, yeah. Charles comes in. Max yeah. hops on. Right. We could drop yeah. in. Then a new dog showed up. I think we can see. On in. All right. Wait, Stella. I think Stella could get in. Stella? <gasps> Stella could get... Oh, oh, let's go! What a good girl. Oh. Almost got the catch. Design, a new dog. Oh, Oh my, wait, I should probably secure all four corners. Yeah. Probably. You got 49 seconds. Oh, oh wait. Oh, get in there. Oh, she, she even knows, knows the she knows. structural integrity of this. <laughs> Hell is not no. On point. Yeah. She's Hell not going no. in that house, by the way. Absolutely <laughs> not. She's going anywhere oh, other than the house. Oh, oh, let's go! Let's go! Yeah. No, I commentated great on this. You know what I noticed about this summit? And let me know if you guys felt this way too. This summit was way less chill than other ones. You know what I'm saying? It felt more serious, and I think it's just because it was, like, it was because it's the first event in a while. But usually Summit is, like, the respite. You know what I mean? We have events every weekend, and Summit is, like, the break. This Summit was the big return. So it felt, it was, like, serious. There were times that I tried to make jokes, that I tried to, like, riff, and guys would, like, give one other joke, and then they would cut it off. You know what I mean? And that kind of sucks, but I think it's to be expected. It felt like Evo? Kinda, yeah. I was hoping it would be more casual, but I mean, like I said, it's the first event in a long time. It's fine. Just in time, the buzzer hey, shot. Korean, you did it. Well what done, everybody. You? And now we're going to send oh, in oh, the... Oh, he wait, fits he lifted that skinny <laughs> bastard. Turn me in here. Turn me, you trust... Turn me even got in like, there. Wow. Good job, wait, Turn me. Saying, what if we lifted... I thought I had a pretty well, funny joke in here. Was well, it not? not a oh, here it is. Dog treat. Go ahead and I think he's a dog. It. Sure. Dude, Void's reaction here is very funny. He fits he lifted that skinny bastard. Void played this perfectly. Turn me in here. Turn me, you trust? Turn me even got in there. Wow. Good job, Wait, Turn me. What if we lift with Turn me in there? I think it can support Turn me. No. Relax. No, no, sure. No, no. Okay. Turn Void was very funny. <laughs> Listen, Turn me was such a good dog. I'm saying, let's give Turn me a dog treat. He, what a good dog. <laughs> I think what he's a good earned dog. it. Let's, earned yeah, it. you've earned it. Let's give Termi a dog treat. Go ahead and feed him. Oh, Termi, you want to get in your show? Come man? on, Termi. <laughs> so, Let's give him the dog treat. What? Oh, it was oh, Boyd. Oh, <laughs> no, wait a minute. Oh. That's not a dog at wait, all. How'd he do that? Yeah, That's get out of here. Okay. That was really funny. That was really funny. I didn't expect Void to be that funny. That was really good. That was really good. He knocked it out of the park on that. That was good. That was funny. Voice great. Um, so yeah, we built the dog house. It was fun, and then we got to hang out with Stella. Girl in the world, it's Stella. You're on the couch joining us. Hey, did you like the house they made? Did you? Oh, uh, pretty girl, gorgeous. Um, god damn it, I broke it again. So that happened. We built the dog house. Uh, what else happened? Guess who I was not a part of, but this is very funny. I heard about this. It's up. You know what to do. Oh. Did you guys see this? This is so fucking funny. 
This is so funny. You all sound like the, the Claudia thing. So basically, the idea of Guess Who, they hit me up about this, and they said, we need 30 characters that we can zoom in on and then zoom out of slowly. And I sent them a bunch of characters that I thought would work. And they used most of them. This was not my idea. I wish it was. This is very funny. I think it's game is trash. I think it's K rule. K rule? Oh, that was a good. That was a good try. That was not a bad. Good guess. That was a great guess. Well, who is it? Let's see. Man. It's a knockout. Good guess. Good guess. Good guess. It's a turtle. It wait. Oh! <laughs> Man, that's so funny. By the way, Phil looks so good, dude. He lost so much fucking weight. I'm mad because he keeps making short jokes and I can't call him fat anymore. So annoying. <laughs> I can't grow inches, but I'm not fat, so he can't come at me for that. But now I have nothing. What can I do? Is Mars short or something? Mars is 5'7", I think. 5'8". Something like that. You have your personality? We both have personality. We both talk for a living. That doesn't work. <laughs> Come on. Okay, who picked the pictures? <laughs> uh, I must confess to you guys. Mate Mate, not a fan. Not a fan of the drink. Tasted like barbecue sauce to me. What is it? It's Yerba Mate. Yeah. Didn't like it. It doesn't actually taste like barbecue sauce. Some people say it tastes like cream soda. I don't know. It's Yerba Mate. I did not enjoy it, but I know a lot of people did. A lot of these guys did. I did not opt for a second can. So I'm just going to... You know, I tell you guys when I show for something if I actually like it or not. I do genuinely like Yule. Um, I like Root. I'll tell you if I don't like something. I do not like Mate Mate. That's just me. That, that's kind of messy. Um, Charles loved Mate Mate. I think he did. He did, unironically. I think he did. Um, let me see. That happened. This was fun. What else? Oh, God, I gotta kill Slack before stuff gets revealed. Um. Oh, peep this one. Yeah, I was very smart at Mafia. Is this my game? I'm also. <laughs> Thank you, B Rabbit. B Rabbit. Um. Yeah, we played Mafia and we won. Me, Aaron, and Wadi. Yeah, there's us. Thank you, anonymous gifter. True, by the way. Uh, I was IRL streaming, by the way. So if you guys want to see IRL streaming, check it out. Um, we're gonna be doing that more. I'm gonna do it at Riptide, for sure. Um, so I won that game of Mafia easy. Aaron Carey, shut up. Aaron Carey because I set myself up to get eliminated and I let him take it. I set myself up so he could target me and then be like, see, I'm town. No, I did I did good. I did good. Watching Critical's perspective of matches. Wait, Critical watched this? He watched Mafia? I didn't know that. Neat. I did die on purpose. Will you have the live cam on while commentating at Riptide? I might. I might do it if they let me. He didn't watch Mafia. Oh, never mind then. Uh, Mafia 3. Nothing happened. I died night one because it was funny. <laughs> funny. <laughs> Portal Smash happened. This skit. So here's this skit. All right, guys. By the way, Leo looks so fucking good, dude. He's lost so much weight. Good for him. 
He genuinely looks he looks amazing. Yeah, he did he did so much. Today we're going to be learning the basic building blocks to an honest and optimized playstyle. And now you know you might be wondering. He looks like Doc Ock. Mr. Leo, does it ever pay off to play risky or hype? The answer is no. And the absolute worst thing you can do is just run up and up smash. It just straight up works. Neutral, complete myth, not real. If you want to beat the best players, all you got to do is not approach. Do not approach. You know why you get hit? It is because you approach. This game is so fucking easy. It's like these kids have Wi-Fi in their brains or something. See, how I got to the top was practicing four or five hours per day, sleeping well, and just non-stop Mountain Dew. I'm talking an insane amount of greens only. You need to eat healthy if you're going to be randomly smashing buttons all of the time. But you know, there is Mars one is a good thing actor. you should never, ever do for any reason. Play, Play like, like Meister. Meister. So two things. One, this Mountain Dew line used to be different. And just non-stop Mountain Dew. I'm Mars originally, the line was smoke mad weed. It was smoke mad weed, brother. And that's how it goes, as he says, smoke mad weed. And then Leo says, I'm talking an insane amount of greens only. You need greens only. You see that? That was the setup. Uh, we opted out of that. We were like, ah, that's a little bit too. I don't think so. No. Didn't really work. So we changed it. Because it, it didn't, it doesn't. We didn't want to do it. The ending that we wrote, by the way, so we, uh, so Alpharag came up with this idea. I think he said he was watching iCarly and they did this bit where like two people are talking back and forth about different things. And he came up with this bit and either I came up with the ending, I came up with a concept and then we turned it into an ending, which is, um, so they're both teaching. And I forget how it ended, but I think it ended with something along the lines of Leo saying, and as always, when you win, you need to do so with grace and humility. And then it cuts to HBox in a classroom alone going, YES! MOTHERFUCKER! He's just in a classroom alone. I think Zachary might have been in the classroom just smiling, just... And I thought that ending would have been so fucking funny. But they didn't they didn't roll with it. We cut it. Cuz like the the ending here just play like my you know, don't play like Meister. It's like it's it's an easy out, you know what I mean, but that H-box ending would have been. Mwah. But it's hard it's hard to get everybody together. Hbox was really busy that day, like throughout the event. It's hard to like get everything that you have planned out, you know. But that was a funny ending. I don't know if I announced this. I think I kept it. I don't know how much I talked about it, but um Alfred and I uh helped out a lot with writing the scripts. Um they came up we we all sort of came up with a concept. Alfred came up with this concept. Um like, that was sort of like a brainstorming thing. And then they wrote scripts and we sort of punched it up where we could. Uh, but they did 90% of the work. I don't want to make it sound like we did much because Summit's amazing. Um, they've got some good guys there. They just don't know Ultimate as well as we do, you know. So that happened. Um, more singles pools, don't care. Gauntlet, yeah, yeah. Wizzy had a hard time. Coney, I love this pick. This is so funny. So, the reason the tweet is unavailable, I tweeted, I want to die. And, uh, like, as a joke, because after, after one of the Mafia games, it was bullshit. I played a Mafia game where I should have won, and I tweeted, I want to die. And three people DM'd me saying, like, hey, are you okay? And then I got an email from Twitter saying, like, there are better resources available. I was like, okay, okay, I'm, this is a joke. Like, I don't want to die. <laughs> but this is me at the end of the Mafia game. You'll see it. You'll see it. This is such a funny fish. <laughs> this was very funny. I'll show you in a second. But anyway. Um, was that Mafia? I think that was the next day. Yeah, matches, matches, matches. Dude, the talent show. Find that out. So. Oh, man. 
dude. Uh, okay, so here's the talent show. Um, the year before, or the last talent show, was actually, like, people had talents. Uh, people juggled. People tried to draw a perfect circle. People sang. This talent show was just shit posting. That's that's basically it. People just shit posting. Um Aaron freestyle rapped. Max freestyle rapped. Meister made an animal with his hands and he was like, "Can you guess what animal it is?" But it's right here on the screen. I hear you. Meister just yell really. Yeah. By the way, winner got $500. Yeah, yeah, be, be loud. What Speak are you doing? Before you do it, what kind of shape is this? And it's an animal, and I would like you to guess it okay. to see if I did it correctly. All right. By the way, Meister is funny as shit. I know he gets a lot of hate online, specifically because of his character, but Meister is cool as hell, and he's very funny. Right, well, well, I right. haven't done this in a while. All okay. right, all right. Well, he's a cool guy. We may have a cheat sheet. Yeah. Let us. He gets a little emotional, obviously, all but like, right, doesn't everybody at this level? It's you know? time. For He's cool, though. A, an animal. I think I'm going to be able to guess it. Something tells me. Y'all gave my, Mars okay. 500 bucks for that. Uh, yep. It's... Okay. Where do I point this on? At the camera. <laughs> okay. That looks like a, a turtle. Uh, no, a turtle's I, head. It's, I a feel snake? like it's probably no, a turtle. No, I think it's a, think a turtle's it's a, head. It's Slytherin. definitely a snake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is it a snake? Yeah, it's Is a snake? it a snake? Yeah, it's yeah. definitely yeah. a snake. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Mars didn't know that we could see it. Uh, Yeah, so we all vote. Okay. I had like 10 people talk to me about my sandals, by the way. Those things were comfy. Uh, Aaron freestyled, <laughs> which was funny. Um, ended with a deep rep. Light. What did Light do? Oh, no. EE -E did charades for some reason. Oh, <laughs> Charlie. Charlie's is really funny. Okay. Charlie has x-ray vision. Here it comes. Incredible. What Absolutely is he going to look at? I EC into my soul. Oh, oh, oh gosh! Ah! <laughs> it's like a jump scare. Incredible. <laughs> incredible. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, incredible! Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. No, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> To our souls. Wow. Oh, oh, God. Charlie rules, by the way. I love Charlie. Charlie's funny as shit. He's really funny. I like Charlie a lot. This summit was really cool because I got to know some players better. Um, I didn't get to talk to Cola much. I think Cola's, like, kind of quiet. Um, sort of keeps to himself, which is fine. Or he just, like, we didn't hang out much. Got to talk with Aaron more. Aaron is great. Charlie's awesome. Um... Coney today. I love person. I do. Well, I'm not going to tell you if I don't like someone. If I don't like someone, I'm not going to bring him up. But I do like these people. Uh, Charlie's great as a commentator. He's he's very unpolished and he he does have stuff to work on. Obviously, and this isn't a shot at him because like obviously he's a player first. But like he could go far. I hit him up and I was like, dude, if you ever want any help with like commentary things, let me know. He's great. Um, he hasn't brought up Peanut. I did not talk to Peanut at all. Uh, he he seems nice. We play we played a little bit of mafia and I I killed him once. Or no, I I lied to get him killed. That's what it was. So, yeah. But no, he's cool. Um So Charlie did that. Void made TK disappear. And this is how I knew this was shit posting. I thought like last year Void did pen spinning, which is a real talent. He actually did some shit and here he's like I'm going to make TK disappear. Where is he gonna go? Ready? Actually, he's not tall enough. Okay. Here we okay. Go. All right. One. Okay. Okay. Two. All right. And. Um. Okay. Wow. wow. It, oh my goodness. Wow. That was absolutely stunning. Where? Did, did you see where TK went? What happened to our co cast What? Ha Wait a minute. Tony, please. I need answers. Can we split the paycheck? What? Uh, <laughs> What are we doing? Okay. <laughs> the Not all of us can be in on the joke. One of us has to be the straight man. So, what the 
Yeah, yeah, I, think the I, I think the jig. Is it? I think the jig. Do, do, do you think the chat? I think. Do you think they believed us? I think the chat might um, have seen. Boy, uh, what the hell did hey, you do with TK Breezy? Hey, the chat. Chat doesn't know where. You anyway. Uh, Void did that, and that's how I knew we were shit posting. Max had a very, uh, very good freestyle with some questionable lines. I was in it too. <laughs> um, some problematic material. All right, and this was Mars's. This was Mars's. Mars, uh, Mars won five hundred dollars for this. I want you to know that there was five hundred dollars in Coinbase credit. Seconds. Oh my! All right. Not a joke. Next. He won five hundred dollars for this. I will be drawing a picture-perfect rendition of Hungry Box in fifteen seconds. What? Oh my okay. God! Seconds. That's not a lot of time, Mars. Or wow. I'm, I'm extremely talented. Okay. Picture okay. perfect. So not real okay. money. It's crypto money. Talent, it's Coinbase credit. Before, before I even met Hungry Box, I used to have visions of him in my dreams. So wait. This wow. Is, this is exclusive to Hungry Box, not mm -hmm. anything else. Yeah. yeah. Irony is currency. Oh, dude, wow. that's that's haunting. So would so, you say would you say you're the biggest H Box fan? The second biggest. This? Second biggest. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was talking to Light earlier. He got me beat. He's got oh, all the oh, merchandise. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. That, that okay. is true. I can't. Mars confirm. is funny. Yeah. Light's a tier three for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. Well, you know what? I, I'm, I'm sorry you've been haunted by these visions your entire life. Oh, but you don't hey, got to apologize, brother. Yeah, I, I was gonna say you probably live with it and thrive with it. But now we're gonna see uh, exactly how accurate they are. Go ahead and uh, draw us an H box if you don't mind. Right, well, I got the timer. Sure. Okay. Okay. Keeping it honest. All right. I like it. D did I say 15 seconds? 15. Yes, you did. Start. Wow. One, wow. Oh, wait. Two. Okay. Three. Four. Well, that's Five, a good dog. It's, it's at six, the bottom. We don't need you to count. Seven. Oh, there it is. It's, my bad. Yeah, it's my right bad. there. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Eight, nine, <laughs> Thank you, though. Thank you. <laughs> we got the technology. The, the play by play. Yeah. I'm the play by play. I like it. The final way successful. Right. 15 seconds. No, All right. Okay. It's done. Oh, whoa. And it is finished. All, All right. right. Okay. All right. That first one, that's a nice picture of that dog. Okay. Now, hopefully, his art is better than that. Yes. And here we have it. Whoa! Nobody. A one? He won $500 for that. He won $500 for this. Wow. Two one. Oh my god, dude. Not a oh joke. <laughs> he won for that. It was so funny. I give him the money. Uh, what else? Oh, no. oh Ma by the way, Max's was the second best, but we're, we weren't supposed to vote for staff to get prizes. It was supposed to be for players. So, like, Max's freestyling was was more impressive than DeBuzz, but, you know, we had to, like, we had to, we, you're supposed to give it to the players, you know? Bill Origami, because why the heck not? All right, okay. Bill Origami. This is DeBuzz <laughs> making origami. <laughs> this music is incredible. <laughs> the tenacity. This is beautiful. The stewardship. <laughs> Immaculate. This the craftsmanship uh, going into this, oh, it's beautiful. This they this kept playing this song bill. over and over. Yeah, yeah. Alright, see, the thing is, Samuel, I know, because, because the buzz, but, well, first of all, because the buzz won that Thunder event, I know he's had a lot of practice. Oh, yeah. He was already holding mad. I don't know where they heard this loop. Right yeah. there. Yeah. Cash. Is yeah. That's yeah. That's yeah. Cool. yeah. Okay, so, anyway. Wow. So he finishes yeah. it. I thought too, the buzz. Uh, is that a hard? Where is he it, going? It, it, buzz, where is buzz over here? Hey, no, 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 not well, over there. All right, you're, no, you're, you're over here. looking at it. No, the buzz, the buzz, no, the buzz, no, over here. No, just come over here. By the way, the camera has a large red light on it when it's live. What is this face? He knew the whole time. He knew the whole time. He knew. He did a little trick. A little trick. What a bit. Yeah. Oh, man. Good trick, DeBuzz. Very funny. Very funny indeed. DeBuzz champing. There's even a coin in it, wow. not only capitalism. Uh, I'm gonna give that a capitalism out of 10. Yeah, for sure. I like that. You know, but uh, no, re re realistically, though, uh, 
feel like that I was actually pretty impressive. It, it was. It was. I feel like I have to at least give it a nine. Yeah. I mean, he went a little over time, but I mean, with the coin in the min in the inside, it's practical and it's cute. That's yeah. gonna be a nine. I'll, I'll give that a socialist one. You know? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Come on, I keep the art. Yeah, can I keep the art? Can, I wanna, we, you know. can we keep the heart? Yeah, no, I'm I like keep it. it. I was like, oh, wait, keep I, it. you gotta I buy it. I just like man. it so much. I like it, it so much. Good, Asking man. price you know? is twenty one dollars. Uh, no, 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 no. I just love the art. No, that's so awesome. if I could just yeah, have I, it, I, yeah, that's it's, nice. it's that's cute. Sick. Oh wait, it's one dollar. Oh, wait, what? No. That's one dollar. Uh, there you go. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Yeah, ten out of ten. Great work, Wow, you bought it. Dude, these shorts are kind of high. Oh God, why did nobody tell me? Oh God, you had mad thigh. I didn't know that. So are TKs? Yeah, I guess so. Oh man. You bribed the judge. Could have popped out. No, I think I think I look good. Don't get me wrong. I just didn't realize I was showing this much skin. <laughs> was TK wearing a romper? Yeah, yeah. Then Cola drew. Drew a Pikachu. Ta-da. Ta-da. Um. Then. Oh, that was it. Yeah, Mars won to Buzz got second. So, congratulations. <laughs> DeBuzz made $100 for that origami. Um. Then. Mafia 4. I think this is the cursed one. I want more fair. Yeah, this shit was fucking cursed. Me and Charles are Batman and Robin, okay? And we are positive that all three of these guys are Mafia. We are positive. All three of them are Mafia, and we know it. But this motherfucker won't go in with us. And I'm trying so hard to convince him. But it's at that stage in the game where if I say anything, he's going to think it's suspicious. So anyway, I know all three of them are Mafia. If we shoot wrong, we lose. Everybody decides to shoot me because I'm talking. And watch what happens. If you would like to vote for Charles, raise your hand. It was Charles. Never mind. Okay. Everybody heads up. Uh, Charles, you are voted out Mafia winner. Yes! <laughs> I'm literally better than all- I'm staring daggers at this guy. This is so fucking stupid. This is the worst game I've ever played in my life. You guys, this is so fucking stupid. See, I knew you were coming. How many ways do I have to logically explain this? When this bastard accused me, I fucking knew it. They fooled me. Yeah, I know I was worried. I literally. By the way, people got actually mad at me for this. Like they were on Twitter. Like Cody made it so uncomfortable. Guys, it's fun. We're having fun. Okay. I don't care what you, the viewer, think. We in the room are having fun. But some people are like, it made me really uncomfortable. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy are fighting. <laughs> Bad noises. Listen, it's a fucking game. I told you okay? I told you I told you I get uncomfortable it? playing Mafia with Cody. Yeah, maybe you should nut up a little bit, little bitch. When I'm yelling at you, in your face, right here, nose to nose, you're supposed to yell back. But you won't do it. Because I'm sensitive. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean this. Listen, I was kind of mad. Listen, don't get me wrong. I was mad. It's like 70-30, right? 70 for play, 30% for real. All right? 30% mad. You gotta play, you gotta turn it to 11 a little bit, you know? My heart Never is give me sus. Never give me I literally a strong 30. A bold 30. Yeah. The 30 is bold and ununderlined, but it's still 30. My heart Never. into that. You, Please, God. No more All I knew, I knew, I was like, I have to exist shit. enough. Oh, yeah. but, I, but I love Light. Light was Mafia, and him and I... There, there's an actually, I don't know if I can find it, but there was an old event called Video Game, the, the Video Game Boot Camp, where like VGBC held a summit type deal, and we played Mafia. <laughs> and there's a point where I'm screaming at Light. Actually, it may have been at the last summit. There's a point where I'm screaming in Light's face, and he's just flossing and doing push-ups. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> he's just, he's just, he doesn't give a shit what I'm saying. It was so funny. And I'm trying to play it up. I'm trying to appear mad. And he just doesn't. I fucking love Light, dude. Light's my fucking boy. 
Because he doesn't care. Light doesn't give a shit. I love Light. Sincerely. I wish he was at this summit. My top five favorite players at Ultimate are, like, in no order. It's Tweak, Light, Mars, Cola, um, Charlie. Those five. So to get so many of those guys at the summit was sick, you know? It was nice. I remember on your stream you made people think light signed for Panda. Did I? I don't remember doing that. Did I like make a joke or something or I did that? When did I do that? Yeah. I don't know that. Coney destroys commentator desk, yells like a gorilla and lights orphanage on fire. Coney, you don't understand. I'm never really it's mad. It's all a bit. It's the art of comedy. I don't get mad. I pretend to be a mad person. It's all a bit, okay? Sometimes I tap into the mind of a mad person, okay? Do you guys really think I was playing Luigi and going crazy? Do you guys know what movie magic is? Mm hmm? I'm an actor. I feel never. I feel no emotions ever. Until this, I felt an emotion here. This is a commentary crew battle, and it comes down to me and Max. Um, me and Max are the anchors because we're the best players on our teams. Uh, so they saved us for last. Max is a better player than me. Don't get me wrong. Max plays a lot and he would have beat me no matter what. So, like, this is not a big deal. But, uh, this happened to me. Oh, yeah, you should have. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. You wonder. I the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Damn it. I didn't realize I jumped. I didn't realize I jumped. <laughs> what did I do? Let me see. Oh, right there. Yeah. Yep. That hurts. It's one of those things where I thought I jumped, but I'm like, eh, it's fine. I don't think I did. And I could have just upbeat, but I didn't. Man. Tough. That's rough. Look at TK's face after your match. Uh, nice! I get a, you I gotta take a picture. I'm yeah, so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't hey, know I used Coney, my jump. Coney, excuse us. We have my to bad. take a, the winner's picture. I excuse us. I didn't know I used my jump. I didn't know I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I did. I, it was one of those things, you ever use your jump and you're like, I think I used it, should I just up B? But you're like, no, 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 I don't want to jump. You know what I mean? You know, you know, you guys know, you guys have been there, right? Up top? Huh? Fellas. Up top? Huh? Fellas. Fellas. Come on, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what it? Okay, I used my jump. Is, is my wolf better than your wolf since I took... TK hypes you so much on his pre-summit stream, that's why. I mean, I was beating TK's ass. <laughs> TK and I were going back and forth. But DK and I were going back and forth. I was playing, I was, uh, we were playing regularly, and I was doing well. I don't know what happened. I just missed my jump. I was doing well. Whatever. We It wasn't for any money anyway, so who cares, right? Whatever. How is Charles not the best one there? What, because he's a, because uh, he's a coach? I mean, coaching doesn't always, you know, translate to... Dude, look how cursed this was. All right, VIP guys, bracket finals. How did this happen? Hit him with the what the fuck? What the fuck? This event is haunted. Uh, you know, the hick camp. That's all. How did this happen? VIP bracket finals. All I want to see. Face mage. Hbox beat Peanut and popped the fuck off. We were commentating and we just hear, Yeah! <laughs> Right, so it was me. Anyway, Wadi won. Panda, panda, panda. Um, I must, I must, I must confess, I had very little input on this one. They came to us with like the DLC, DLC final fighter thing, and they had a bunch of ideas that I shot down. Um, they had a bunch of ideas that I shot down. 
Like, one of them was like the dude from The Big Lebowski. And I was like, nobody's going to get that, you know? I'm like, dude, like, I get it because I'm 32, you know? I'm old. Um... But there were a lot of things like that where it was like old references. So. Yeah, Smash Ultimate players had no idea who that is. I told them, I was like, you know how you do this? You go super lowest common denominator. Like, you have the imposter. You know, you have Jonesy. Fuck it. Be funny with it, but just go fucking... Ultimate kids will point at the screen and be like, Oh, among us! Among us, you know, they just want to see EE -E dressed like the imposter. That's literally it. That's it. That's it. That's the whole, that's all you need. Excuse me. Uh, you don't need to, like, write funny <laughs> jokes. Uh, the ultimate crowd does not deserve it. Why did they give him <laughs> clothespins? I didn't even notice that. I'm nothing without my friend. <laughs> Meister's funny. Dude, that Keyblade is huge, by the way. That Keyblade is actually so fucking big. And then the buzz is a Luma. Oh, Zachary was Waluigi? Ah. I did not know that. That's funny. So TK complained because he wasn't in enough sketches. TK was like, I wish I was in more skits. I want to be in more skits. What do you guys have for me? And they were like, we have just the thing. He's a plunger. Yeah, I have no what the fuck is this Jedi Force robe? <laughs> I don't even know what game I'm from. That's, come on, that was funny to me. That delivery was good. He was so sad. The weekend. This was literally just because Void looks like The weekend. All the pain. He, he is, like you. is Bob Ross for some reason. Maybe he wanted to be in skits too. I don't know why. I don't get this. I didn't. I like spaghetti. I didn't get that. I was like, is this like a reference? Is this like a... And then he's Shadow. And then Sora with a gun. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, the indirect was... I don't even have much to say on this. It's just like, you know that thing Nintendo do? Do opposite. Well, not even really do opposite. It's just Nintendo shit, you know? Remastering an old shitty game and, you know. Do similar, yeah. So, this one was okay. Um, I got to be the host. Sick. Uh, yeah. So there's that. Dude, I wrote this joke. I'm so proud of this. So, they came to us with the idea of the slumber party. If you guys remember the, um... The Fox Gang skit at Melee, where the point is just to set up different vignettes with different players. The goal is not, like, a, a through line, or, or, like, a narrative. The goal is just to get different things with people. So, um... I wrote a couple of these. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wrote this. Vodin, uh, is this where the invited players sleep? What's it like being able to use aerials? Please tell me you had Wadi nice. on the floor. Yeah, yeah it's so agree. stupid. It's so stupid, but yeah. Why are you in the floor? It's such a stupid joke. Oh, I've never had a bed. Pretty good at sleeping, though. Oh, let me get your jacket. Yeah. That wouldn't be funny if Wadi wasn't funny. I wrote this, and I was like, this isn't a funny joke. I was like, this is not a funny joke, but Wadi made it funny. And I'm like, thank you. Thank you. Ever just look into the sky and think that our planet 
is just a spec. Summit wrote this cosmic joke, and it's a good dark. one. If we were to try and find other planets, other help out there, it just... The buzz killed it? Guys, I'm going to let you know a little secret about Summit. The buzz is the... The buzz is literally the answer to everything. You could put the buzz anywhere and it's funny. Because he's funny, because he's he he has no inhibitions, he's like he'll do anything. The buzz is so fucking funny. It's a content cheat code. It really is. So you have to use him wisely because all of our skits had to buzz all over them. <laughs> Because he likes to do content, he's funny, and well, you can put him anywhere. He's not going to be all, like, self-conscious. Seriously, we fucking love to buzz. So we had to, like, stop ourselves consistently. Wouldn't be there. We're just this obscure little thing trying to find our own path. It was so good. There's no one else with these same Thank you, problems e or even potential. It's just... We just exist, and I don't know. It scares me sometimes. Oh, great spirit. I wrote this joke, and I'm so fucking proud of it. I think they changed it a little bit from my vision, but I think this joke is so funny. I think this joke is so fucking funny. Smash, what character should I play? Probably somebody with hype combos. Maybe a lightweight. P. I. I Dude, stop pulling it. I'm not. Wow. Ow. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. That's so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> oh, God. I thought that was so funny. We're 248 of Summit. Can oh. you explain? Oh, do you guys want to know? So, so Void... Uh, okay, I'll explain it. Because people actually might not get the joke. Void, at the beginning of Ultimate played Pichu, and everybody loved him playing Pichu, and, because it's, like, supposed to be a shitty character, right? So the joke is Pichu, because everybody loved watching him play that, but Void really likes Sheik. So the joke is, he wants to get Sheik. He's doing it, and he's hoping it says Sheik, because, you know, good combos, uh, lightweight, whatever, and it starts saying Pichu, and he's, he thinks the guys are telling it to do that. That's the, that's the joke. Because Pichu sucks now. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, it's extra funny now that I explained it. I hope you guys liked it. I thought it was Piranha Plant? That's actually a different joke. That might be kind of funny. If it went on so long. P-I-R-A-N-H. It might have needed the C. Yeah, I, I think I had the C in there. I thought it was Pika versus Pichu. Ah... Damn. I thought it was Pyra. No, you're right. No, I, the way that I wrote it was C. They go P, I, C. Dude, stop moving it. That's what I wrote. That was the end of the joke. I also wrote this joke. <laughs> I forgot I wrote a lot of this skit. I was like, what if Aaron is like in a fort, like a pillow fort, and he's still streaming for Summit? I was like, that's kind of funny. Wow. Hour 248 of Summit. Oh my god, guys. Looks like my blanket has been breached. Remember, all donations go to the I didn't write that line, but that's funny. Summit Spirit Bomb. I keep Dude, nothing. Are you still campaigning for Summit? We're, we're already here. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to give a big welcome to Mars. Best player in the world, in my opinion. So yeah, I'm really... That joke was actually supposed to be delivered differently. To Mars. When he says best player in the world, it was supposed to be like how Mars always has like best player in the world on his YouTube and in the titles. And it was going to cut away from him to show Leo's face and he does like a Jim from the office face. That's what it was. So like Aaron is in on the content. He's like the content guy. He's like, listen, this guy on YouTube, best player in the world. And Leo's just like, okay. But... I think they couldn't get it with the angle because they have him leaning over and blah, blah, blah. But that was the that was the original joke. Mars, best player in the world, in my opinion. And so this yeah, it just doesn't I'm always work out really like that. And then DeBuzz 
takes up the rest of the skit. We had some other jokes. I forget what they were, but we did have some other ones written in that didn't make it, I think. And then that's it. That was Summit. The rest is just gameplay. It was good. Tweak one. Um, I actually, uh, I went to go get canes with Tweak. I was out with Tweak and Alpha Red the day before all that shit happened. And uh, I was just talking with him about this summit and how he felt. And we just talked for a while. He's a good guy. Will there be a VOD of this I can watch later? Yeah. What the heck? There's always a VOD of my Twitch streams. Come on. Opinion on Mithra Pyra, busted or no? No. No. I th I don't think... I think they're overstated how good they are. Yeah, it'll be, a, it'll be a VOD here, but... They're just good and new? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are good and they're new. That's it. That's literally it. They're good and new and nobody has fought against them offline. That's it. Oh, the TikTok? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. One sec. So Shannon did the uh, did the socials for this event. Shannon's a a melee player. She's great. I have to find the TikTok. But no, they're they're good characters. They're just not broken. Um that's it. Uh I think Tweak showed that. Because Tweak dealt with Pyra so well. Like Tweak just never got hit. <laughs> Shannon was laughing so hard when she tweeted this. That she forgot to clip the audio. She forgot to crop it. This was so funny that she literally fucked it up. Watch. She, she forgot to cut the rest. <laughs> she didn't even notice. That's it. She was laughing so hard while making this. She was like, Cody, Cody, I need you to see this. Come here, come here, come here. And I saw it and I also laughed. So I agree with her. Yeah. Hold on, let me show you the TikTok she made me make. She was like, uh, she was like, there's a TikTok trend right now. I need you to say something and then go funny, funny, funny. And I'm like, okay, sure. You think it's so fucking funny, huh? Uh, funny, funny, funny. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> so fucking, so fucking dumb. So fucking dumb. I don't even see it. Funny, funny, I don't even see it. Funny. How can you even see it? And then on Twitter, I pretended like she didn't tell me what I was recording for. <laughs> I knew. But it was funnier if she didn't tell me. I thought it'd be funnier if, if I pretended. We do a little pretending. We do a little pretending. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for Summit. Uh, oh, wait, I do have one more thing. So Summit ends, um, and, uh, I think I can talk about this. Summit ends, and that's Sunday. Uh, I go... Summit is over. I say goodbye to everybody. I'm talking to my friends there. Um, saying, see you guys at Riptide. 
Do you think Leo would have won if he went Joker? Maybe. I don't really care about what ifs. Um, I mean, like, I think it, it would have been tough for him to deal with Diddy because Diddy's, like, you know, a new fighter. So some it ends, uh, and rather than just going back to my hotel, I went home with Alpha Red. He lives about 30 minutes from Summit, uh, and I was going to stay there an extra day. Um, I don't want to give away too much, uh, but Alpharad and I recorded something on the Santa Monica Pier right here. Um, can I tell you guys what it was? I can tell you guys, right? I don't know when it'll come out. Is it awesome? Yeah, it's funny. The problem, though, is that I don't know if it's ever going to come out because apparently they got the wrong audio. We had a videographer with, with a stick mic. And, uh, and he didn't get the stick mic audio. He got the camera audio. So we might need to add subtitles if we use it at all. It's tough. But it's very funny. Is it normal or deluxe content? It's normal. It's going to be on Alpharad's channel. I hope it actually comes out. I don't know if it will. Because like I said, stuff got kind of messy. So, who knows. Um, what the fuck game is that? Bubble and squeak. Okay. If it doesn't, will yoink it for Riptide? No, it won't work. It won't work. Well, maybe. It's an expensive video. Alpha Red is rich, bro. <laughs> that man has money. I'll just say that. It was it 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 was an, I can't do that right now. I need more sponsors. Like today's sponsor, Chloe, which you can check out by hitting exclamation point Chloe in the chat. All you have to do is sign up and complete the tutorial, and then you'll get added here. Isn't that nice? Hmm. I actually need to play some Chloe soon. I gotta play some Chloe. But that's it for Summit. It was great. I really enjoyed my time there. Um, oh, I guess I should hit the music again. I missed Smash. And now I have it back. I'm going to be at Riptide next week. Um, we're doing IRL streaming there. I'm going to be streaming top 16 at least from the crowd. Um, WarioWare comes out and I'm probably going to do some stuff with that. Um, lots of stuff. You excited about the Bloodbath tournament coming up? Dude, can I... Hold on, let me talk to you about that. So in case you guys don't know, there's a tournament coming up for Smash uh, this weekend. The tournament is called... Bad Things Happening to Good People. It is uh, being held by a guy named... Why do bad things happen to good people? Why do for short? When I heard about this, I hit him up, and I was like, hey, I would like to get behind this any way I can. Um, I want Panda to sponsor this. Because the way that it works is it's single elimination, best of one, one game. No region lock, no lag tests. First place gets 500 thanks to Panda Global. Well, it's just Panda. It's not Panda Global. We're not Panda Global anymore. I'm about to take my money back. Uh, yeah, best of one. Legal stages. Um. If you, you can't ask for a lag test. In the event of a lag test, the person asking for the lag test will be DQ'd. Um, everything else is normal. No items, nothing like that. It's just, lag is gonna happen. And you have to be ready for it. Um. Now... I hit him up, and I was like, we want to get Panda behind this. So, I got Panda to agree to put in 300 bucks. And I was going to commentate it. I was going to commentate top eight. Um, <laughs> I was going to commentate top eight. But then I found out that I can't because I'm going to be gone. Because I think Mal and I are taking a trip because my birthday is Friday and she booked me a trip on, on Saturday. So I was like, hey, I can't make top eight. Uh, you know, I'll push it as much as I can. I'll do everything that I can, but I can't. I don't think I can make it. But then he tweeted this. <laughs> and I was like, ah, fuck. 
So I might tweet. I might. I might. I might. It's not his fault. We sent a lot of messages back and forth. It's fine. We'll see. I'll do it if I can. I will do it if I can. Um, but I love this event. I'm glad that he's putting it together. I'm super excited for it. It's very funny. I want to see more stuff like this. But we'll see. If I can't make it, I can't make it. You know? So. We'll see. I love the branding on this, dude. It's so good. It really is. You get gentlemen to any competitive game. That's true, too. Yeah. $500 for first, nothing for second. Insane. Prizing. Tournament has a $500 prize split between the, the players as follows. <laughs> Very exciting. Thank you, Cool Dad, Red Bomb. Any game. Yeah, you can, you can, you can gentlemen to a Google coin flip if you want. You could, you could literally gentlemen to anything. You could gentlemen to a game of Akinator. I'm very excited. I think this is going to be amazing. I can't wait. It's going to be fun. Look at all the people who joined, by the way. Dude, 1,700 fucking people. Jesus Christ. Including John Cena fan 69. That's a smurf. It's not a smurf. Cena fan 69. Quite an interesting name. This is John Cena. So many things to say. Uh, but I will say this. I have followed you on Twitter. I'm very excited about that. And I'm also sending you a copy of Elbow Grease. Fast Friends. Hope you enjoy. Fast Friends. Hope you enjoy that a sending kid's you a book? copy of Elbow Grease. You read a kid's book? Okay. That's a real guy. All right. Well, there you go. Anyway, it'll be fun. That'll be a fun event. I'll definitely be watching it as much as I can. Like I said, I'm going to be... I don't know what this weekend's going to be like, but we'll see. So. He wrote a series of kids' books? That's cute. Are you planning on playing Unite Blastoises out? Maybe. I might play some Unite. Probably not tonight, though. Um, If you stream until midnight. I'll stream until midnight tomorrow so we can celebrate my birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll count it down. Definitely. Um, anyway, we talked about Summit. I didn't really have many other plans for this stream, if I'm being honest. There are some things we can do. I've got some movies to watch. Uh, I gotta play a bit of Chloe. But, you know. Thank you, Chase, son. Yeah, thank you for the Prime. I didn't ask for any Primes. I've been so good. Listen, I know a lot of you are probably about to leave. Could you just drop a Prime before you go? They're free. It's free. Come on. Quick. Chop, chop. <laughs> or just gift. If you don't have a Prime, just gift one. I do have some movies. Could always do some, uh, some Watch Mojo. Always down for that. Thank you, Suppressed Envy. <laughs> Dude, I played Psychonauts 2. I started it last night. It's so fucking good. Thank you, Snowflake. It is very good. I love it. Uh, I'm not gonna play it on stream, because it's stream poison. But it's so fucking good. I'm so happy. I thought it was gonna suck. Seriously, I thought it was gonna be so bad. But it's so good. Actually, you wanna know what game just came out that I bought too? Might play this tomorrow, I don't know. I've got to stock up on YouTube content, but check this out. Peep this one. Not No More Heroes. Dude, TK was playing No More Heroes at, at Summit, and it sounded dire. It sounded bad. Coney, I have horrible news. What? It seems the Prime button is glitched at the moment and redeeming it doesn't actually redeem it but gives a Prime sub to the streamer anyway. Oh my god! Please do not let your users take advantage of no this. No way! See Wait, you so if the you, they use the tomorrow. Prime now, they get it for free? Don't listen to Jeff Bezos! He has enough money! Quick, use the Prime! Use it now! Hurry! Hurry before he fixes the glitch! Quickly! Come on, everybody! Let's use it! 
Lost 70 viewers for that stuff. Um, check this out. Look what game I found. It's called Spookware. It's WarioWare, but scary. I thought this was cool as hell. Wario scare, true. I thought this was cool. So I'm gonna try it out. Oh yeah, I missed Subula earlier. Sorry everybody, we'll do it tomorrow. Anyway, it's a game called Spookware, and I bought it, because it looked cool. Perfect for October. Well, maybe a little bit earlier than that. I was just subscribing to your YouTube, and now I have to watch this live, 2 out of 10. Dude, did you guys see today's YouTube video? It was good. Today's YouTube video is my favorite YouTube video in a long time. I'm telling you. It was excellent. It's 1 out of 10 right now. Let me see. Yeah, it's my best performing video out of the last 10. By a lot, actually. Because I lie in it. It just says how I beat Mewtwo King. <laughs> By the way, I'm kind of mad at Vince. Vince made a community post when I was at Summit. Hold on. I don't know why he did this. Fellas, I'm kind of bored. Could you link share me your favorite memes or cute animal pictures? I was at Summit during this time. He did this, and I had people DMing me dogs for like two days. And I was like, what the fuck is this? Why is everybody DMing me dogs? I didn't see this. I It was just unprompted. I was like, why is everybody doing that? So I have a ton of DMs about dogs now. I'm not subbed to your YouTube because you called a dog ugly and refused to apologize. Was it a pug? I stand by it. No. No. Share them? I would share my DMs, but I got some very nice DMs that were kind of personal recently, so I don't want to... I, I can't. I can't. I can't go through them. Had some very nice stuff. Sorry. Have you talked about the Nickelodeon moveset reveal? Isn't it just Spongebob? Is it more than Spongebob? Right? What was the game Coney just showed? It's called Spookware. I mean, Spongebob looks funny. I don't know what that Spongebob bite was. <laughs> they leaked three characters? Wait, did they? Hold on. Actually, I didn't get to reactionate to this. That <laughs> word just keeps getting longer. Reactioning. Check this out. So, I gotta be honest. This game looks like shit. So April O'Neil is in the Nickelodeon game. She has like three moves in this whole thing. Watch this split. This looks like shit. Hi, yeah. There are no frames. What the fuck? You guys made fun of icons. What the fuck? This is a two frame neutral air. Yeah, this is a two-frame neutral air. Holy shit. Die. 
By the way, did he lick? Did he have like a scarf lick attack? Oh my god, it's a tongue. Thank you, whoever finished Chloe. Ew. What is that camera for? Thank you, Top to Your Harley. So that's a bomb. Kick. Okay. She shows like the same three moves. The boom mic. Is that like Rob Ford Smash? The pictures? That has to be a Ford Smash, right? Watch this. That's dash attack. Oh, I'm ready. Don't worry. I'm ready, bro. Just so many of the moves look the same. Man. Who is that supposed to be? Carmen San Diego? No. What? It's April O'Neil. From the Ninja Turtles. The other one is Cat Dog. Which I think work look worse. What you for? Like this doesn't look so bad, right? This doesn't look so bad. But Dude. What the fuck are these animations? Like What move is this? I assume that you can flip and be the cat or the dog cuz both of them do the thing. Both of them like can do moves. That neutral air is killing me. I assume that's what it is. They stretch out. That one. <laughs> this It's like half of this trailer is neutral air. It looks like shit. Uh-oh. React Wars leak. RW. No, it's, it's bad. It looks like shit. I just, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, look at April and Shredder's revenge. I heard that she's like traced from fighting game animations. Like, she's like one to one, right? Like, Armika? What is this? SpongeBob's move list. Yeah, what the fuck? What? What? <laughs> Why does he have a bite move? This is one time, right? Where he bit Patrick's finger. Thank you, Slurpus with the raid, by the way. What? This is so stupid. <laughs> this game is going to be so bad. You're going to get juggled by this up here. It's going to be like Mario. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I just can't wait to just all hell no over and over when I watch this. Oh, hell no. SpongeBob got the snake up, too. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Fuck, man. I didn't actually watch this trailer. I just saw some, like, some, like, uh, some screenshots. And in one of the shots, she looks like she has a diaper. Can April O'Neil fight? Or is this like a... I don't... Could she ever fight? I don't think she could.
I don't know how I feel about this game, dude. Like, I love these games originally. Like, I like the originals, you know what I mean? But, like... I don't know. It looks like a beat-em-up for kids. Yeah, and if that's the case, that's fine, right? Splinter has to be the last character. They're definitely putting Splinter right here. Right? Splinter's going there. Casey? Ah, true, true, true. Come on, we need Splinter somewhere, right? Whatever. Have you ever played the uh, Scott Pilgrim beat-em-up? Yeah, I didn't like it. I mean, I liked it fine. I'm not, I don't like River City Ransom. I don't like River City Ransom shit. I like Streets of Rage shit. But. Did you play Rush Down Revolt? Yeah, I didn't like it. <laughs> I tried it because, you know, it was like icons. Like, it, that's sort of the structure that it was before. And then I, I played it for a little bit, and I'm like, this is too much. It's too many buttons. Wasn't into it. It's just icons? No, it's not, though. It's, it's so many buttons, and it's like you have to really put time into it. It's like, I don't know. You liked icons, though. I loved icons. But what I liked about icons is that it was very easy to... It was very intuitive. A lot of people said it was shitty with low depth, but I thought it was intuitive and fun. But Rush Down Revolt, like, has a huge... Not huge, but it, it's difficult to get into. At least it was for me, so I didn't like it. You know? Have you played Beautiful Joe? Yeah, I didn't really like it. I played it for like an hour or two. I'm not being a contrarian. I'm allowed to like or dislike things. I just said that I loved Psychonauts 2. I'm really loving it right now. It's very fun. Have you played... Oh, did you like 12 minutes? Eh. It was fine. 12 minutes is fine. I'm not crazy about it, you know? It was fine. I'm allowed to dislike things. I thought I was the only one who didn't care for Beautiful Joe. I mean, I, I don't like it, but I see why people do. It's just... Not for me, you know? Twelve minutes was fine. It was fine. I was happy. It was a nice seven out of ten, maybe six, but... Clawy time, I want toys. You guys want to see Clawy? Huh? Any Clawy fans? We got to play it for a half an hour at some point. But we could watch a movie first. You guys want to watch a movie? Thank you, Spicy Apples. Yeah, apparently the game... Spoilers, by the way. Apparently, the game is just like, it all takes place in your head. I, I didn't even realize that it was all just a delusion. So, you know. Alright, two options. Two options. Melee movie? React Mojo. One second. I'm putting a Poma P. One sec. One sec. I'm going to put up Poma P. Hey. 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 We can't. We do not have time for both tonight. Because it's 930. And I have to do Chloe. So we do one or the other tonight. The other one I'll do tomorrow. The other one I'll do tomorrow. Promise. Okay. But we can only do one tonight. Pick one. You guys do this. I'm going to pee. One sec.
Wow. You guys have spoken. Okay. Did you wash? Shut up. All right. All right, we'll do Melee tomorrow, but tonight's reactioning. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on. Let me sync up the things. Dude, there's so many videos I have lined up. Holy shit. I don't know which of these we're going to use and which ones we aren't. So, we'll see. Okay. Dude, I didn't realize you could go to watchmojo.com. Even though they say it at the beginning of all their things. Okay. So, let's do this quick. It has exclusive videos on there? Exclusive videos? No. Really? Oh, man. I am missing out. Ten video games with the best waifus. Ten times Big Mouth went too far. Okay. Top ten reasons Chief Wiggum should be fired? You only have ten? Okay. <laughs> Top ten sexiest anime demon girls. Man. Top ten most impressive Bob Ross paintings. This is amazing. I fucking love this place. Okay. All right. So, fellas, I've been gone for a week. I was at Summit, and during my time, I got to watch some great Smash Brothers, but the whole time I was thinking, damn, I wonder what's going on on WatchMojo.com. In case you don't know, WatchMojo.com is the greatest place where you can find some of the best lists on the internet, such as the top ten reasons Chief Wiggum should be fired. I'm putting that in the watch later. I need to know. Uh, the top 10 weirdest Among Us mods. The top 10 weirdly sexy anime monsters. Save that one for later. It's a lot of lists, and we're going to go ahead and watch some today. Watch Mojo is a content geyser, and let us drink deep from its never-ending well. There's a lot of Candyman things. Did you guys watch the new Candyman? Is it good? I want to watch it. All right, start off with the top 10 craziest challenges Mr. Beast has done, because this will go great for the thumbnail. This is great for the thumbnail. I want to know what he did. How crazy are the challenges? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 craziest challenges Mr. Beast has done. Your ship is gone. I am incredibly freezing, and I don't feel like moving. Don't buy one thing. Buy like a hundred. I might skip this one if it sucks. Thing. For this list, we'll be looking at the funniest, most insane, and most creative challenges ever seen on the Mr. Beast YouTube channel. Which Thanks, of these did you find the most fun? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. I bought everything in a store. This is the type of video that made Mr. Beast so famous. Spending thousands of dollars? Check. Giving to charity? Yep. Confusing the employees of a random store you betcha and buying literally I don't think I like everything this one. from said store various rooms I don't know if it's just like the announcer guy or what got to watch the whole thing to put in a thumbnail no I don't we'll skip this house with boxes 100,000 what's the worst thing he's done put 100 million orbies in my friend's backyard these types of videos are always great for a laugh, and this is the greatest and most entertaining one of them all. 
This is okay, we're, we're pivoting. Uh, editor, cut this whole thing. Keep the intro, cut this shit. Pivot. Top 10 things science can't explain? Top 20 scariest places on Earth? Unexpectedly dark cartoons? Animated movie ripoffs? I want to see the scariest places. Did I say science? Science. You get, you get it. You know what I meant. Hold on. Just because of that, I'm doing the science one. 13.7 billion years ago. Life is the right atoms and molecules. 52 seconds. Each helps us understand the universe. This one might be bad too. The same way that the other one is. The eye can see. You remember list, we've tried to we'll do be these before that and they were kind of boring scientists to this day leaving us scratching our heads. I just want to know if there's anything interesting that science still hasn't answered. Let us know in the comments. Number 10, the creation of the universe. No, this sucks, okay. What's number 1? <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. Skip. What are the animated movie ripoffs? Yeah. Number one is Ratatouille, right? Don't make fun of Coney, he is smart. Uh, Coney, tell them what before. he equals MC2 stands Joe. for. And today, we're counting down our picks for the what? top 20 animated movie ripoffs. Allow me to express my sorrow for all of this. Just sit, stay, and watch. <laughs> <laughs> what? For this list, we're looking at movies that are considered Wait. obviously pale imitations of classic animated features made just to cash in on their I feel like I've never seen any of these popularity. Be sure to Are these all Mockbuster below. I've never heard of any. I thought I would have seen What the fuck is this? Bug bites and ants life. You guys know everything. Hmm. Hmm. All clear. Remember when people <laughs> called ants a ripoff of Pixar as a bug's life? Well, after seeing this track, Dude, I love you'll these. find a whole new appreciation for the DreamWorks film. Oh my the 3D god. The animation that barely looks finished, awful voice acting, and irritating sound quality, this flick goes on for too long and amounts to nothing, at least according to critics and viewers. Whenever wow, I watch it's these, it's dangerous out here. You should wiggle back to the brush. Hmm, <sighs> can't geckos. Geckos? We guess it's about a caterpillar <laughs> oh my and God. ants trying to survive a gecko incursion. <laughs> Holy Not shit. Sort of gets lost in all the chase scenes. Stop walking into Apparently, him. The creators thought watching insects scuttle back and forth for half an hour counts as Why didn't they paint the gecko? <laughs> Number 19. All right, that shit's kind of fun. That I, I, Whenever I watch this, I always wonder what kid got this VHS. You know what I mean? Like, what kid was it that got that didn't get the right one? The mom picked the wrong video or something, you know? Beauty and the Beast. I remember she said there I thought this was a good movie. trolls and man-eating giants and magical creatures. Not every studio can be cranking out timeless classics. So if you want to make some money in the movie I've business, seen Beauty and the Beast. It was good. Films. Good Times Entertainment was one of those companies known for publishing low-budget films that Thank were you, a Joey. little too similar to larger releases. One of the most egregious examples was Beauty and the Beast. I don't have any regrets, <laughs> and I'm not going to scream. While the voice acting isn't the worst, the visuals at points barely match the emotions heard. Between this film and its Disney counterpart, the animation is I mean, barely comparable. While the story is public domain, the company I was get... sued by Disney for its deliberately misleading VHS covers. The company later filed okay. for bankruptcy in 2005. If you leave me, then I shall die of loneliness. Number 18, Arisha, the Little Dude, Witch. Dude, I fucking love these. Have you guys ever seen these? I think this is like a PS2 game. Have you seen these? Have you guys ever seen the Animal Soccer World? I fucking love Animal Soccer World. Oh my god. Number 18. Arisha, I've never Little seen this one, but I love Animal Soccer World. Little Witch. That's my shit. This film got a DVD release is mind-boggling. It looks like a child drew it, and not in the charming way. <laughs> Look how big her head is. The plot borrows elements from Kiki's Delivery Service by Studio Ghibli, but the two are eons apart in quality. This the dinkle donner bein, alles soll wie vorher sein. The animation is incredibly basic. Some characters <laughs> are even tracings of Disney designs. 
You'll find the animals from Bambi pop up throughout the film yeah, and help Arisha. I, yeah. The studio, Dingo Pictures, has made up. <laughs> Look at the fucking tree. <laughs> their films of Why is it quality. a talking tree? But this film was their last and remains undubbed from the German version. We'd be surprised if they made a profit at all. <laughs> yeah, do they make money off these? Like, I feel like... I guess you throw it out there, and if it pops, it pops, Number you know? Number 17, The Secret of Mulan. You will be soldier who are. <laughs> ah. Turns out that the company that made this adaptation has what? a long history of reworking beloved films into what's become known as Why the did she Secret have six of legs? series. Entries include The Secret of the Hunchback, The Secret of Anastasia, and, of course, The Secret of Mulan. What the fuck so is going on fair? here? Well, not only has the Mulan entry been called a bastardization of one of animation's greatest Oh, they're bugs! It goes a step further by throwing in elements right out of a They're bug's all life. bugs. Sorry, I see. Flick. Oh, it's your different then. Have been off twice That's not the same. <laughs> no, that's Number creative. 16. Homeward. You know you've made a successful movie when the asylum rips it off. Wait, is this not the same movie? Onward is the story of two. It's onward. Oh. Brothers who go on a quest to spend one last day. With That's their crazy. Life. Well, Dad, at least you won't have to meet the new guy. So you. I thought it was the hard, same thing. They got working. me. But if you look to rent it online, <laughs> you might come across this derivative piece. Do you even understand what I have to lose here? While the promotional oh my material God. might look similar, the marketing and the magical modern world setting is where the similarities end. Instead, it's a plot about an orc and an elf trying to prevent a group of orcs from taking Dude, over. Dude, I would have been tricked as hell. I definitely would have watched this movie and will be in been like, "What the fuck, Disney?" World. While it's easy to tell the difference between Homeward and Onward, not this very. will not be the last time the asylum tries to Not extremely. <laughs> what? Number 15, Leo the Lion, King of the Jungle, Circle of Life. More like an endless circle of copyright infringements. The story follows a selfish king lion who gets lectured by a small cub into caring about his fellow animals. You're doing a lousy job as king. I beg your pardon? A rotten job. The film was produced by Mark Taylor, whose name you'll find across a lot of low-budget mockbusters from the 90s. Uh -huh. Just like other films from his library, Leo the Lion was criticized for its lackluster animation and strange musical numbers. Dude, it's so just ignore my pointed teeth, cause I'm a nice guy underneath. The That's real definitely problem Hakuna is... Matata. What's crazy is that, like... This is just how shit was. But like in 1994, about. you would just it's accidentally so buy bad, the wrong good, movie because the there's nothing either. on the internet to tell you otherwise. You know? Right, it's so right. sad. Knock it off. Number 14, Life's a Jungle, Africa's Most Wanted. Phase 4 Films brings us a film that could easily be mistaken for a student's animation project. A privileged sweater-wearing dog called Pip gets separated from his owners on holiday in Africa. Oh no, don't leave me out here all alone. We dogs must stick together. He's then forced to adapt to life. I like wild. Pip. Ow. I like Pip. The title Pip is, is cute. an obvious play on Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted, which was released around the same time. However, the plot yeah, Pip is, is nothing built, like dude. it and plays Look at the Argyle. More like the earlier entries in the franchise. But once you start watching, you can tell which one had the bigger animation budget. Here's to Pip, a true friend of ours. Number 13, Finding Jesus. Okay, I have heard about this one. I have heard about this one. I heard about this one. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of Nemo, you know, you're looking for the son of God. This film doesn't even do what it says on the tin. Oh, wow, it doesn't? Wow, now entertainment brings this animated travesty to streaming, and it's a mess. The film follows Fish, Muggles, and Joy living at Finding Jesus Bay, where they listen and share stories of their beloved creator. Well, Mrs. Wedley helped a little, and Jesus helped a lot. The animation is nothing special. The voice acting is bland, and they don't even find Jesus. Oh, what the fuck? Come on, that's what I wanted to see. What if I wanted to find Jesus? Given the title, you would at least expect there to be a fish named Jesus. Yeah, that that's what I thought. 
in the religious sense, all the characters are already fully committed to Christianity at the start of the film. As a result, this movie is just one long underwater parable reading. <laughs> so, so Watch Mojo is mad because all of the fish are already Christians. All right. No, I get it. I get it. I I I was tricked too. I thought some of them might be pagan or something. We definitely know? learned something, though. It's important to keep the promises we make. Yeah, for ourselves, our friends, and for Jesus, who keeps track of everything we do and every choice we make. Number 12, oh God. The Frog Prince. <laughs> Why can't I find my prince charming? Based on the reviews, you can basically Holy summarize shit. this mockbuster in one word. Lazy. Lazy because they only use a handful of locations. Lazy because the voice work involves insulting imitations of supposedly black accents. And lazy because they immediately just like dislike flash? many of the characters. Well, that's it. There's nothing more I can do. While Disney's that's just Princess Flash, and the right? That's Flash animation. Magic, that was everywhere back then, between dude. between the lead characters and important life lessons, all we get here is a princess who throws tantrums, a king who resents his daughter's independent attitude, and a frog who'll say practically anything just to score. I can. <laughs> of course I can. Number 11, Plan B. Bees have to fly from blossom to blossom. There's a B movie ripoff? The flowers will die off. B-Movie, starring Jerry Seinfeld, was a big-budget Hollywood film. Wow! So, of course it was going to get a copy plaguing the bargain bin. Plan B I've never was seen distributed by Mockbuster Veterans' Sparkplug Entertainment and has about the same production value as their oh other God. titles, meaning there isn't a lot. Double the size of this hive. I don't care what it takes. Just do it! You won't be... For, in my head, for some reason, 2007 had better animation than this getting any smooth jazz right? in this beautiful adventure either. This cheap imitation I feel like is about I've a seen soldier better animation working to topple an evil usurper of the hive's queen. Even if that plot <laughs> sounds a little what? interesting, the actual product does not deliver, as it features poor voice work, bad animation, and lackluster sound. Bro, why do they have to roast it? I get it, it's not good. Way through. I agree. I do too. Indeed. Number 10, Titanic. The legend goes on. This movie bangs. No, this movie goes crazy. Do you remember Titanic? The emotion. The this tragedy, movie goes the crazy, dog, dude. The, the rapping dog. Most of the films on this list are Bro, the rapping dog goes features. crazy. This one was riding the hype of the James Cameron classic. While we do get the. You guys. Joe Star, you don't know about party time? romance and ships. I'll show you in a second. We also have front row seats to more character ripoffs than you can believe, with some confusing stereotypes thrown in there for good measure. The film is also overflowing with subplots. You'd be forgiven for getting confused along the way. And the we're not. Yeah, that dog um raps about halfway through the movie. Hold on. It was a locket that her long lost mother gave her. Then, when I was eating the bread, I heard her say that she can't go to parties because she has nothing to wear. Sad. So, yeah, this comes up in the middle of the movie, and it's not explained. And I assume all these animals die because they're on the Titanic, right? They're on the Titanic. They have shit. Yeah, anyway, uh, it's funny. <laughs> That's all. Nine. Keep What's it on. Up? No, shut Balloon up. Moon to the rescue. I'm a genius. <laughs> this mockbuster not only dumps on the original Pixar epic, it's also a confusing schlockfest. For some reason, the filmmakers behind What's Up didn't think a flying house was thrilling enough, so they <laughs> tossed in some magic. If you stick around long enough, okay. you might find yourself asking why a magical stone's sole function is to turn a house into part hot air balloon. Okay. Or why they go out of their way to be racist towards a supporting character that happens to be Chinese. What? Arigato. No problem, but Arigato is Japanese. I'm Chinese. My name is Ching Ling. However, we'll forgive you if you don't even make it that far after seeing what? the questionable 3D animation. Why is he the one character? Be heroes only after we send those monsters back to why another dimension, he? okay? Number eight, Kiara the Why only him? Why only that one guy? Brave, also known as Super K. Dude, Ratatouille has to be number everything. one. 
But I'm still missing excitement. <laughs> Why is he wearing missed, aviators? But I'm still missing excitement. <laughs> this dude's cool as hell. <laughs> what the Many fuck? Many consider this a terrible film that should have never been forced onto the actual drip. Public. But it's also called a travesty because when it was shipped to the United States, the distributors rebranded it to cash in on the latest Pixar release, Brave. Where did they take the king? I heard them say the Netherworld. Oh, it's Funnily Brave. Enough, I was like, what is brave this? Involves neither medieval Scotland Got it. it's nor brave. a coming okay. of age story where a strong female protagonist tries to forge her own path. What yeah, do we get instead? Okay. A superhero called Super K trying to defend the world of Dream Zone from the evil badness. While Kiara stands in the background doing pretty much nothing. Okay. As kids, we don't have the power to call on destiny. Do we? Number seven, Tappy Toes. Follow my lead. Oh, this one's cute. Come on! A much needed break from horrendous 3D animation. I like Tappy and Toes. Been treated to a higher standard of voice work, but for most people, that doesn't save Tappy Toes from being another train wreck. Uh, the look at of flash it. It looks fine. Come clear early on, as this short happily rips off the plot of Happy Feet, minus the stellar dance sequences and the Robin Williams. That's the way. Uh, 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 you like it. You oh, like I forgot it. Robin Williams was in Happy Feet. Sure. That's it tries weird. To throw in some self-referential humor. But considering there's an uncomfortable scene where a hermit... Did you know that the director of Happy Feet is quoted saying he'd rather shoot himself than make a third movie? Why? Why? Why is three too much? I could understand if you make one but don't want to make two, but why did you make two but don't want to make three? That's so weird. What's your problem? Maybe he's just sad. <laughs> he's looking for an excuse. Crab threatens to pinch a sea lion in not so child friendly places. Tappy Toes manages to tap itself out. Epic fail. Number six. If they make another Madden game, I'm just gonna. Kick Panda. I don't know what I'll do. <sighs> It may only be 40 Chop something Kick Panda long, doesn't look that but bad. out of the many, many Kung Fu Panda ripoffs, this is the one that made people feel like they'd gone several rounds with the Furious Five. Brought to us by the folks who created Tappy Toes, Chop oh, Kick Panda Toes. is another That's entry why. where the animation this is, is the high point. Everything else is a panda-sized Not everybody can afford stupidity. a $20 DVD of I Kung Fu Panda. Once again, it pretty much follows the original beat for beat. You know? But the ridiculousness of its rushed plot and attempts to focus on humor over action leave Chopkick Panda feeling disjointed and utterly pointless. Precisely, Einstein. Number five, The Legend of Cirilla. Oh my god. Help freeze to death. This bangs. This what the Canadian fuck? This Canadian animation incurred the wrath of Disney. This and shit that's not rules. It's shocking considering its title was changed to Frozen Land for the U.S. market. Subtle. The shaman says the spirits are angry with the clan. Well, Again, this is a pretty big blunder by the distributors because while the story focuses on the tale of an Inuit shaman and his animal friends, uh -huh. the name and even the signature. Oh. That's what it was. I get it. I get it. That's fine. Dude, what the fuck is up with Christopher Plummer? He'll do anything. Christopher Plummer will voice anything. Their logo were designed to match Disney's Frozen. The company behind Legend of Cirilla might have thought their film was just a blip on the radar, but in the end, the mouse house sees all. The creators should have done themselves a favor and just... Let it go! Let it go! A Shrek! Oh! De los productores que vieron Shrek. It's Spanish Shrek. We're not kidding. That's on the poster. Don Quixote is a comic retelling of Cervantes' classic novel Don Quixote. Mm -hmm. Traveling across Spain, a knight, his squire, and his squire steed, who looks a little too much like Donkey from Shrek, look to woo a beautiful woman. I cannot in truth forget about Barcelona. If Am I watching I this learn. in the theater? I feel like this was captured in the theater. The beautiful Dulcinea, queen of my days and princess of my nights. And if you're searching for an imitation of Eddie Murphy, you're out of luck. Shrek, we can do better than that. The only similarities between the donkey characters is in their look. 
can't you hear me? Hey, hello? Maybe. Ah, oh, forget it. The animation is decent, and unfortunately, that is, that the, whitest is where voice. the positives end. Still, Man. it is a lot more competent than a lot of the other entries on this list. The only talking donkey I know is a friend of mine who hangs out with some green ogre. I'm a horse. Number oh three, a car's life. Sparky's <laughs> big adventure. I'll take a car wash tomorrow. No, this one's this one's based. The headlights of a car are the eyes. The headlights of the car are eyes, not the windshield. Not the windshield. It's the it's the eyes are the headlights. That's for what you, sure. Life. Sparky's big adventure. I'll take a car wash tomorrow. That's what you said yesterday. Cars wasn't exactly the pinnacle of Pixar's creativity, but it's still a decent and entertaining. I've never film, seen any especially cars. Especially in comparison to this. Like Throughout the movie, this chopped like, together yeah. mess, we're subjected to protagonist slash motorized douchebag Sparky, who only exists to cause chaos wherever he goes. Along the way, we're treated to what could only be described as an onslaught of terrible animation, awful voice acting, and a collection of some truly detestable automobiles. Stop playing around. It's about as cheap a mockbuster as you they can look get. look fine to me. So we'll never understand how it managed to spawn multiple sequels. I feel like an idiot. Number two, The Funny Life of Pets. <laughs> That's good. That's good. You replace one adjective for another. Replacing a word and a movie title with funny is so good. I like that. This is one of the most frustrating ripoffs That's you'll good. ever find. That's good. Illumination's The Secret Life of Pets is about adorable talking animals interacting with the real world. This movie sucks, by the way. I guess it's all Illumination movies, but it's just like... Uh, Illumination's signature move is the dance sequence. I don't fucking get it. They love dancing. Production house Ruthless Studios <laughs> took that concept and boiled it down to the most low effort version the they could fuck? think of. A dog and a cat reacting to stock footage. The Mario movie is going to suck. Absolutely. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. No hope. Thank you, Kojo. Animals doing cute things. I'm Ryan Fleecrest, and this here is Catnip Everdeen. Stock footage must be all they budgeted for because shots are repeated endlessly to stretch out <laughs> the runtime. Perhaps the worst part is that there are other films with this exact same concept. So... I want to watch this movie. So, if you're in the mood to watch more, you're in luck. Well, folks, that I unironically want to watch this movie. It was a howl of a good time we had, and I look forward to seeing you all again next time. I want to watch The Funny Life of Pets. Surely I could watch it somewhere. It's on Amazon Prime Video for $4. Do you think I would get in trouble if I streamed it? Who's going to come get me? You know? In a world where over 200 million pets live among us, what do we really know about our best friends? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you are- So all this is, is just like stock footage of animals playing? We're in the right place to find out. Let me tell you something about pets. They're fluffy. They're crazy. They're lazy. They stare at you funny. They chase lasers. They chase their tails. They love their owners. They walk. They run. They lick. They I can't scratch. hear you. Turn the music down. They scratch. Turn the they music down, please. They love boxing. It's like one of my they YouTube love videos. Bags. They make funny sounds. They dress up. They... They pant loudly. The funny life of pets. That's the trailer. I want to watch The Funny Life of Pets so bad. That's very funny. Bye now. Before we continue, number one is Ratatouille. To our channel and number one is Ratatouille. To notified about our it has videos. to be. It's Ratatouille, dude. The option to be notified for occasional. Oh, Flux is on? Oh, my bad. Disengage. Videos or all of them. Sorry, if everybody. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. <laughs> 
Damn, it did get yellow. That's one, crazy. Ratatouille. Chef Marcel Toying prepares the most delicious and exotic dishes. I love Always ratatouille. Always using special secret ingredients. They may trade Paris for Rio de Janeiro. I've never watched Ratatouille. Can I watch this? Blatant, no matter where you set it. Obviously taking liberties from the five-star meal that is Pixar's Ratatouille. The plot Surely follows I won't a get rodent trouble. head chef who tries to keep his restaurant open and defeat his competitors. How does he do that? By stealing fresh ingredients from human kitchens in oh, sequences dude, it's on YouTube. that try to imitate spy capers of old. And which, at least according to most people who've watched it, fail miserably on every conceivable level. Do yourself How bad a could it be? and skip this meal. I'm afraid I don't find that to be particularly funny, Greg. Do you agree with our picks? That doesn't look too bad. I might watch some Ratatouille. I feel like it's not, like, I've seen much worse. I think Funny Life of Pets was worse. Ratatouille at least was animated. Okay. Now these are the top 20 unexpectedly dark episodes in kid cartoons. Thank you, Sunday. Now, I'm going to watch three, and if they're not good, I'm going to skip. Happy at memory, Squidward. Um... Actually, I want to do scariest places first. Come and play with us, Daddy. Will this list? We're looking at locations that are frightening, dangerous, or both. <laughs> I lied. We'll also be taking ghost stories and legends about these unsettling places into account. Number twenty: the Edinburgh Vaults, Scotland. Ugh. Inside the arches of South Bridge. Built across a valley in Scotland's capital city in the 1780s. These are all just are like Dark, Dark Souls locations. Chambers, once used as taverns, workshops, and storage spaces for the business above. However, once the businesses left, Edinburgh's poorest residents moved into the vault. Paris catacombs are number one. Are those the ones with like bones on the walls and shit? Body snatchers. Eventually, the vaults were closed down and forgotten about for over a How century. did you get the funny life of pet? I guess it makes Three. sense. Today. Organized tours take visitors. None of these are going to be dangerous. They should still be where the malevolent spirits. That's, that's a good point, actually. I should probably halls. skip. Number nineteen, the Great Blue Hole, Belize. That's cool. Belize's Great Blue Hole isn't the only marine sinkhole in the world, but it is the largest, at one thousand feet wide and over four hundred feet deep. Several divers have become lost and died inside it. Oh my fact, god! A 2019 expedition to the bottom discovered two bodies of long lost divers. Not only is the hole dangerous to inexperienced divers, I mean, but also to the sea life around it. The bottom why is would you so go full in it? of hydrogen sulfide that life can't survive inside for long. Why would you go inside of it? Why? Many reef dwelling okay. crabs it's cool to look that at. lesson firsthand. Number 18, Montpelier Hill, also known as the Hellfire Club, Ireland. A sinister, derelict building stands at the top of Montpelier Hill near Dublin, Ireland. This okay. foreboding location was once the hunting lodge home to one Nutty Putty Cave. Oh shit! Club. I forgot Hellfire about Nutty Putty Cave. I hope the so. British Isles as bases for societal elites in the 1700s to engage in all kinds of debauched and potentially even violent practices. <laughs> Am I watching the Fight organization Club? Organization remains somewhat mysterious to this day thanks to the secrecy surrounding Number one is Detroit. It. So it's not clear exactly what happened during its meetings. But while we don't know whether the darkest tales of horrifying rituals are true or not. This isn't it's scary. Been said that this Hellfire Club spot supposedly it's outside. hosts a number of spirits. Number 17, Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary, USA. Oh my god. For 30 years. Dude, Alcatraz is small. Alcatraz was an ominous presence. On I thought Alcatraz Island was bigger. Oh, I guess it is. Bay. That's kind of bigger. Since it was in a relatively isolated position, it was frequently cited as totally inescapable. Is it true no one's ever bust out of here? Oh, they tell me. And although three people notably did escape in 1962, they were never seen again after leaving the island. After squeezing through this cement wall, they climbed up a network of pipes and plumbing before they okay. made it here to the roof. Even while it was still in use, Alcatraz was a dangerous, decaying place. Very scary. Thank you, whoever did Chloe. It's prisoners hey guys, exclamation point Chloe in the chat. As if you want to check it out. Though it's been shuttered for far longer than We're going to play it in, in a little bit. You can win free prizes. Persists. You can win Today, free prizes with real claw games. It's true. Its horrors and many alleged ghosts We're going to play some. I already want a Pikachu. Free stuff? Yes. 
Ew! Jesus Christ. <whistles> Number 16, Loftus Hall, Ireland. It's been named the most haunted house in Ireland for a scarily Bro, good reason. Bro, none of these are Spoken scary. They're Westford. just ghosts. Its most famous ghost story involves a visit from the devil himself. He apparently arrived one evening to play cards until his identity was revealed. The dark stranger had kicked off his shoes and instead of regular feet there, he had cloven hooves. Satan no, he supposedly didn't. flew up stupid. through the ceiling and left a hole that remains today. For about a decade, Loftus Hall was open to brave souls who wanted to go on a ghost tour. There were even overnight stays offered for anybody desperate enough to test their mettle. In 2020, it was put on sale for a hefty sum of around $3 million. Now it waits for a new owner to purchase its hallowed halls. 22 beds? You guys want to go in on a, on a house? Huh? Number 15, Hauschka Castle, huh? Czech Republic. Anybody? This creepy castle has long been rumored Come to on. be built over an... Hold on. That means... Three mil, right? 22 beds. Three million... 300,000. Divided by 22. We all put in 136K. That's not bad at all. Dude, is that true? Did I did I do that wrong? <laughs> did I did I put in that math wrong? <laughs> wait, wait, three three hundred three thousand thirty thousand three hundred thousand three million divided by twenty two. Yeah, we all put one hundred thirty six k in. Come on, guys. That's not bad. Actual entrance to hell. Naturally, this is giving the get castle loans. a nearly unmatched reputation for supernatural entities. I'm not mowing You'll the lawn. It just not it. Outside Prague, open to all visitors, brave Thank enough you, to enter. Out of dressing. It was built around 800 years ago and has been home to many royals and nobles over the centuries. The so-called gateway to hell is an enormous, supposedly bottomless pit that the castle was constructed over the top of. The pit was deemed so horrific that, according to legends, prisoners were sent to investigate it and returned with stories of indescribable horrors. Number 14, The Stanley Hotel, USA. Wait! Master of Horror Stephen King stayed in this hotel in 1974 when he and his wife That's were the, the only shining. guests in the entire place. Oh, God. This spooky atmosphere served as the inspiration for The Shining, the novel that was later adapted to oh, film. Oh, God, that's and terrifying. one of Stanley Kubrick's scariest movies. I want you to like it here. Bro, I watched The Shining. It wasn't even that scary. Dude just goes crazy. I wish we could stay here. Ever. Crazy Just dad, oh, kill family. family. was the inspiration behind the Overlook Hotel will send a chill down your spine. Located in the Rocky Mountains in Colorado, the hotel is supposedly haunted by numerous ghosts. <laughs> Name one. <laughs> There's someone else in the hotel with us. Favorite horror movie? There's a crazy woman in one I don't of the know, actually. She tried to I'm an asshole. Dead. It's become a prime destination for paranormal tourism since the book was released. Stay the night at the Stanley, if you dare. Is this a haunted hotel? I do think it's very active. Everyone has their own experiences, but you'll have to come here she to experience it for yourself. Number 13, Povelia Island, Italy. Definitely that's at that. Known as one of Pog the most haunted Libya spots in Europe, Island, Povelia Island has a long and say. gruesome history that dates back centuries. It first began to gain its reputation in the Bro, late 18th I want to skip the top 5. When it was used to quarantine victims of various diseases. It's reported I gotta that skip the top five. All these ghosts and shit, like... And were buried and or cremated on All right, we're island. going top three. Top three. Top three. Oh, God. Four? World War One. it did have the Soviet... Having... Human condition. Centralia, okay. USA. Oh, shit! This is Silent Hill! This is Silent Hill! Oh, when yeah. Cole was king... There's like gas under this. Centralia, Pennsylvania I forgot about was a this. boom town. Yeah. People were optimistic, jobs were plentiful, and the future seemed bright. This is an area scary. of Pennsylvania that has essentially been on fire since 1962. The town the is on 60s, fire. Centralia hosted roughly 1,500 residents, but the area suffered a horrific coal mine fire that is estimated to keep burning for another 250 years. What the Regardless fuck? Regardless of how it happened, 
this fire quickly grew out of control. How? Remember, this wasn't just a small shaft, too. The coal mines in the area were all interconnected, and it was an enormous labyrinth under the town of Centralia. <laughs> The major detrimental effects weren't really known until 1981, when a sinkhole randomly opened and nearly killed a 12-year-old boy. The government bought out Man. most of the residents and had them relocated, leaving just 63 people by 1990. Today, the town hosts under a dozen citizens, and various signs are littered throughout the area warning of sudden ground collapse and fatal levels of carbon monoxide. Under a dozen? Why would you live there? That, that's like two families. That's not even one family. That's... A graffiti highway that became a destination spot in the area... Oh, that's has cool. ...has been paved over as of 2020. The former Cringe. ruins of what Highway 61 remain, now known as the Graffiti Highway. That's cool. Literally covered with spray paint dating back to the 70s and 80s. Number two, the Island of the Dolls. What the Mexico. fuck? Dude, we should have just gone to top five. Oh. Turns out there are many areas throughout the world... Number one is going to be the suicide forest in Japan. ...populated by dolls. There's a village in Japan called Nagoro, which has become a famous tourist attraction due to its countless life-size dolls. It takes two days to prepare and make each scarecrow, and now there are 350 of these mannequins, way oh outnumbering God. the 10 villages left here. But perhaps the freakiest of all is Mexico City's La Isla de las Muñecas, which is located Muñecas. in the canals of Xochimilco. The island contains hundreds of dolls, most of which are hung from the trees. It looks like a scene from a Ugh. horror movie. Hundreds of dolls oh! and hanging from trees. Legend states that the spirit of a young girl haunted the island, forcing its owner to hang dolls from the trees to appease her ghost. He found the dolls in the canals and in the trash. He started hanging them up to protect him and to try to scare away the spirit of the girl. The Man. owner passed away in 2001, and the island became a popular tourist destination, <laughs> even though some locals refused to go there owing to superstition. Before we continue, wait, be sure to- Wait, what? What? The guy died and now it's a party place? What the fuck? Popular tourist destination. That doesn't look scary. Even though some that spirit is mad to as go fuck, there, owing yeah. To superstition. That spirit is continue, furious. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and man, ring the bell thank to you, get villain of the week, for videos. the prime. You have the option to be notified Subbing for occasional for free. videos or a smart all fella. Of them. If you're on your phone, Not spending make sure money. you go into your settings and switch Japan on notifications. Japan Suicide Forest, give it to me, yapow. Number one, Pripyat. Huh? Where's that? Ukraine. <laughs> Now here's a ghost town. Pripyat is what was called a nuclear city, uh -huh. housing the employees of the nearby Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Yeah. It was the home of thousands of citizens until the power plant famously exploded on the morning of April 26, 1986, spreading an unbelievable amount of radiation into the area, including Pripyat. In the instant the lid is thrown off the reactor, oxygen rushes in. It combines with hydrogen and superheated graphite. The chain of disaster is now complete. What is radiation? Like, it's energy? Like, like fire? Heat? Ionized atoms. Toxic air? What does it do, though? It's it's not like you breathe it and then it's, you're sick. What's the, like, what? If I put my arm into radiation, what happens? The... <laughs> I 
Okay, I'm seeing I'm seeing ouch, I'm seeing die, and I'm seeing superpowers. The town was not immediately evacuated, despite I'm dozens confused. of people falling ill and showing signs of acute radiation sickness. The evacuation was finally ordered 36 hours after the blast, and the city remains abandoned for long-term residents. Although governmental authorities Is there a world where superpowers are real? So let's say that radiation changes your DNA. You know? Is there a world where it changes for good? Like you get double muscle like the cows we saw? Is that... If I were to radiate my head, could I have double brain? Still did work in the Kinda. area, and there is now limited tourism. It's now part of the wider Chernobyl exclusion. It would get zone. bigger. Evidence it would get bigger. Mild nuclear radiation had already reached beyond the Soviet borders to Scandinavia. Do you agree with our picks? Yeah. Check out this. Hey, Coney. Yeah. Radiation is a lot of things. Mm -hmm. You and I radiate heat. The radiation oh. you're probably thinking of is gamma radiation. Yeah. The energy gamma rays produce are energetic enough, and thus small enough, because of wavelength, to destroy your DNA. No, not me. Not me, maybe yours. Not mine, though. Hey. How dark are these episodes? Expectedly dark episodes in <laughs> Dude, the baby! The Num nums! <laughs> That's my shit. Tom Twenty Unex. Use your ring. Thousand fold by my family's tiny. We'll be looking on. Rest and we'll be. Show me. Number twenty. It's a wishful life. The fairly odd parents. When our Bucktooth main character is berated for every good deed he's done that day, he decides to teach everyone a lesson by wishing he didn't exist. Bye. You know what? I wish I was never born. I think I remember this. Isn't everybody happy? Isn't everything better? Timmy is then transported to an alternate timeline where it turns out <laughs> everyone is better off without him. What's worse Dude, is- Dude, that's fucked up to show a kid. That's so fucked up to show a child. That Jorgen tries to send him to what is conceptually similar to hell. Goodbye, Timmy Turner. <laughs> Forever. When Timmy is able to steal Jorgen's wand, he laments, wondering That's if everyone good. else's sadness is worth his existence. He decides it's not and accepts his fate. But all I'll be doing is making everybody's life worse. I can't do that to Cosmo and Wanda, Mom and Dad. So he it all dies? turns out to be a test, but it's still a pretty shocking plot. The big explosion at the Nasty Burger, you, Tucker, Danny's family, and it was all your fault! As like it's the, I always thought it was like tongue in cheek kind of like silly, but it's like it's like an action show. It's like Number 18. Are you happy now? SpongeBob SquarePants. Squidward has always gotten the short end of the stick, but no one expected uh -huh. the show to insinuate him ending it all. Squidward realizes that he doesn't have a happiest memory, prompting SpongeBob to Aww. try and create one for him. Look, I don't need a happy memory, so just get back to your culinary grease factory and leave me alone. Unfortunately, his efforts fail, sending Squidward into a deep depression, locking himself away for weeks. It's okay. here we see one of the darkest images ever drawn in the series. Squidward takes a rope and ties it up, implying he's decided life isn't worth living. I can't seem to get happy. Maybe well, this he doesn't... will help. It well, come on. Come on. Come on. May have been a bait and switch. No, he was just putting up a bird. But by the end of the it episode, was just a bird. Squidward has a mental breakdown, leaving his. That wasn't even a noose. If it was a noose, it'd be one thing. Come on, it's unresolved. a rope. Come on. Are you enjoying the hors d'oeuvres? Yeah. 
At a certain point, on. his pain is no longer funny. And Th ten another Danny Phantom? I didn't watch this either. This episode tackles the very real issue of <laughs> Why? Why is? Why is this grown man beating up this teenager? You know what's best. Number sixteen. The same as it never was. Teenage Mutant Ninja okay. Turtles. The 2003 series the teenager of teenager is a god. A is he? Dark episodes throughout its run. However, none of us expected our heroes in a half shell to die on screen. What? When Donatello is sent to the future. He discovers things took a turn for the worse in his absence. You've been gone over 30 years, Donatello. 30 years? It can't be. Aren't they all dead in the comics right now? I think I remember hearing that. They're all dead currently. Splinter was killed. The brothers split up. Mikey lost an arm. Yeah. And Shredder has taken over the world. In a last ditch effort to stop this horrible timeline from happening, the turtles charge Shredder's HQ, dying off one by one. All right, Donnie. We'll do it one more time. But please, tell me we have a fighting They're chance. They're turtles. The saddest part is seeing Raphael crawling over to his estranged brother, Leo, to spend his final moments with him. Leo! Leo! What the fuck? It's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Dead Guys. Number 15. It's really funny. Web World Wars. <laughs> yeah, see? Very funny. Thanks, Chloe. Reboot. They'll summon the attack drones. You've got to stop them getting back through the portal. Sometimes Reboot the internet is so can feel funny. like a black hole that destroys everything it comes into contact with. And for the people of Mainframe, this you guys was literally seen Reboot? the case. Reboot as bangs, in this dude. dark episode of Reboot, Reboot rules. World Web Wars served as the season two finale of the hit show and ended on one of the <laughs> darkest cliffhangers of all time. Nothing can stand in our way. I've never actually watched it. Mainframe. Shit's weird. Ours. Bob what channel was, was Reboot on? I think it was Cartoon Network. launched into the dangerous storm of the World Wide Web, leaving the question of his fate unanswered until the third season premiered. Megabyte! You won't get away with this! Number 14. To heck and back. Rocco's Modern Life. Even though oh, it yeah, aired on Nickelodeon, dies. Rocco's Modern Life likes to push what they could get past the censors. I forgot In about this that. Episode, Dark? Watch Mojo? Here with the episode to be banned from Fox Kids. Yeah, they got they got it banned because they all died. Number twelve, Heavenly Puss, Tom and Jerry. The adventures of this cat. <laughs> Why did they name it that? Did they do? They did that on purpose. They. I don't think they did. What? Well, there's not even like a pun there. That's not even a pun. Mouse duo is Man. filled with endless violence. That's not even. At number 11, Jimmy, Static Shock. In the lead up to a community center Halloween party, shy kid Jimmy gets relentlessly picked on by Nick and his friends. Stop it! Stop it! I mean it! I mean it! Don't! <laughs> Not cool, Nick. Stop typing, Nick! Stop it, Nick! Leave it alone! Give me a break, Hawkins. After some violent pranks, Jimmy disappears, worrying his peers. Virgil and his dad go to Jimmy's house, where they discover that he's stolen his father's gun and plans to confront his tormentors. At the school, we see Jimmy bursting into tears of anger as Richie tries to talk him down. Oh my God! Funny. Breaking my computer wasn't funny. Shoving me in the locker wasn't funny. Jimmy, you're right. I I'm sorry, man. But just as Jimmy lowers his gun, he gets Jesus Christ! by Nick's friends, accidentally shooting Richie in the process. What? It wasn't fatal, but it was a frighteningly real situation nonetheless. Number. Bro, what the fuck? How is that ten. number 10? That's number 11? Phineas and Ferb. What the fuck? Busted. Phineas and Ferb. Imagination is a wonderful thing to have, though not everyone oh would agree, God. as seen in Disney's hit cartoon, Phineas and Ferb. In this episode, Candace finally catches the titular pair in performing their usual dangerous antics, leading them to get sent to reform school. 
I'm sorry, but this is really for your own good. The story takes a dark turn. I've never the seen this show. have their imaginations forcibly removed from their brains through intense brainwashing. A concept that gets even darker considering it serves as a disturbing metaphor for growing up. Creative acts are imitatable and dangerous. Using your imagination okay. is morally wrong. Though the it's whole really thing dark. turned out to be a dream, that didn't save the episode from being incredibly dark. I never I mean, actually busted Phineas and Ferb. I am so happy. Number nine, Way of the DD, Dexter's Laboratory. Why do you do this? You're so stupid. Dude, this show looks ugly now. <laughs> I never noticed how fucking gross this show looks. Being cooped up in a lab all day is no way to get through life. Despite what Dexter might think, Dude, this show's luckily, ugly. this boy genius had his sister Dee Dee to free him from the clutches of his stressful work, resulting in his spiritual awakening as he finds inner peace. However, that peace goes as quickly as it came after Dexter destroys his own you, lab Jim. before promptly returning to his life of scientific solitude, resulting in one of the most downbeat endings of any episode in the series. Oh yeah, he rebuilt the whole thing. Number eight. That's sad. Perfect. Wrong. Is that always Eustace's voice? I thought it was different. No? No, no, yes. No? Okay. I was gonna say it's not the same one. Okay. His voice actor died. Oh. That's sad. Okay. And you did a lousy job repairing the win That's so weird. Number seven. Mind pollution. Captain Planet and the pl Courage and Flapjack were trip show So I didn't really like Courage, but I fucking love Flapjack. I still love Flapjack. I think that show is excellent. Unironically. That's like one of my favorite shows. Flapjack is excellent. Courage is fine, but I wasn't really into it. Flapjack is excellent. Thank you, Sistery. Planet God, somebody died? Number six. Twisted Sister. The Oh, this one's sad. This is Bunny! Oh, this one. Oh, Bunny. Girls. The first thing we need is sugar. Oh. This episode of the Cartoon Network original series is as memorable as it is heart wrenching and tragic. When Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup want a new sister to help them fight crime, they half hazardly recreate the professor's this experiment. This is so and sad. Bunny, who comes out Thank a you, bit off. Sisters! That's right, you're our sister too! After Bunny messes up crime fighting and is sent away by the girls, she eventually returns to beat up every criminal in Townsville before exploding from her body's instability. Yeah, she saving dies. Saving the day for the first and final time. Admitted, just the description of this episode was enough to bring a tragic tear to your eye. She was good after all. I forgot about Bunny. Number five, Holly Jolly Secrets, Adventure Time. Oh, this is the one with the fucking the, the king. Second, man. That's I sad. The Ice King is easily yeah. one of the most interesting characters in Adventure Time, as well as one of the most. Tr this was a good show, dude. Mel and I watched it like five years ago, front to back, and it's very good. I really like Adventure Time. I feel like Adventure Time is really sick because it sort of teaches you stuff, but not in. It teaches you stuff in a way that if you're, like, late teens, like 1920, you're probably going to relate to it in, like, three to four years. Does that make sense? You can watch it and just not make any sense of it and, like, oh, it's silly. But then there's some shit that, like, actually has a lot of shit behind it, you know? It's really good. Have you seen the HBO specials? No. Teaches you but not directly or immediately. There's one episode that really spoke to me. There's an episode where Finn gets, like, addicted to a video game. It's like an MMO. It's like a train. And you expect the episode to be like, yeah, don't do that. Don't get on the train. Don't play that game. Don't do that all the time. But the episode is just like, yeah, you can do that. Just watch it. You, like, that's, you, that's an indulgence, and it's a part of your life, but, you know. And I felt the fuck out of that. Cause I have the I have the gene I have the addiction gene and I get I'm I'm on the train sometimes, and it was like really weird for a show to be like yeah 
you have to recognize this is part of you, but like you can't just shut it out because that just makes it worse. I thought that was neat. Tragic. That was as cool as shit. In this two-part episode, after discovering the Ice King's hidden video, it's not a video game; it's a real train. It's called Infinity Train. Okay, that's it then. Tapes. Finn and Jake learn the dark it's story a good show. behind the Mad Ice Wizard. That he was once Simon Petrikov, an antiquarian who discovered the Ice Crown. Hello. There's a lot of episodes like that. I am recording this tape so that people will know. Infinity Train is a different As show. It's Dungeon Train. Okay. His mind, Simon yeah. was driven mad causing him to drive away the love of his life, leaving him a shadow of his former self. This tragic origin story it's made a good show. Jolly Secrets one of the series' darkest episodes, even more so than Evergreen. Just watch over me until I can find my way out of this labyrinth in my brain and regain best my Best character sanity. alert? No, the best character is Magic Man. I fucking love Magic Man. Magic Man is one of my favorite episodes because they introduce this asshole character who's just a piece of shit and then they're trying to like make him good and the end of the episode is just like, yeah, some people are just dicks. <laughs> some people are just assholes for no reason. And like they do give him backstory where it's like his wife died and he went crazy. But I love the fact it's just like, yeah, that guy's just an asshole and there's no re I love that so much. He's my favorite character. He's just a piece of shit. I Obsession can drive a person insane. And in Teen Titans, Robin was that person. In this episode of the hit series, Robin... What's the deal with this guy? I've never watched Teen Titans. Why is this guy messing with these fucking teenagers? That's like a grown man beating up on, on like, teenagers, right? What's his problem? Deathstroke? Okay, why is he so mad? Slade? What the fuck? They never say? <laughs> Robin, Robin Affair serves as a metaphor for paranoia and PTSD. Okay, yeah. Which is what made this episode one of the darkest in the series. Gotcha. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one still looking for him. That's so weird that it's the same voice, that, voice actors doing this that do Go. Because you watch Go and it's just a whole episode about farting. <laughs> what the fuck? They're so different. The only one who can stop him. Number three, failsafe, Young Justice. Attention, you have entered the boundaries of Earth space. Failsafe is easily one of the most kind of relentless funny. and horrific I've episodes never watched of a kids of stuff, cartoon but... in recent memory. The episode kicks off with the death of the entire Justice League following an alien attack. To make matters worse, the team is forced to take the League's place and defend the Earth themselves. The one thing the aliens cannot destroy is hope. But after Artemis dies, the rest of the team is picked off one by one before suddenly waking up and finding out that the whole scenario was a simulation made real by Miss Martian's powerful psychic mind, leaving mm -hmm. everyone devastated by these real emotions for a fake experience. We know that Young Justice was okay, supposed uh, to be mature, whatever. but not that mature. What you experienced was sequence, a training dude, like... exercise. Number two. The Puppet Master, Avatar The Last Airbender. What I'm about to show you, I discovered in that wretched Fire Nation prison. One of the most dangerous forms of bending in the world of Avatar The Last Airbender is blood bending. The act of bending the water within a person's blood to control their movements. Neat! It was you first can do that? in The Puppet Master, which told the story of Hama, a former prisoner of the Fire Nation who escaped by developing this dark technique, which she continued to cool. use to harm innocent Only civilians. Only on a full moon. They okay. threw me in prison to rot, along with my brothers and sisters. Watch this show. They nice deserve try. the same. Desperate to stop Hama and save not her friends, watching Katara is forced to use bloodbending nope. herself, an act nope, that not leaves me. her in tears. Nope. With such a dark premise, a tragic it's villain, not and anime, a it's literally technique. anime. The puppet master what the was fuck are you talking the darkest. About? What are you, you're gonna say? This isn't. I'm so sick of this. And creepy. It's literally episode anime. Of Avatar: The Last Airbender. <laughs> Congratulations, Katara. It literally you is. Look at it. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Care Bears? Drab City. Care Bears. The bears slowly lose their colors as a depressing city sucks away their happiness. The bears slowly lose their colors as a depressing city sucks away their happiness. Thanks. It's yeah. the stone that's causing this. Society. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Angelica's worst nightmare. Nom noms! 
The fear this of is my dude. is very real. I'm the new baby. I'm the new baby, and you're the old baby, see? And you better get something straight right off the bat. There ain't room in this house for the both of us. <laughs> Neighbors, <laughs> we bear bears. That's pretty good. Friendly people in the neighborhood? Or is something That's else my big boy. Fun? Yeah. The new neighbors. They were saying stuff about how perfect and chubby I was and, and how they're going to capture me. Before we continue, be What's sure to What's number 1? Subscribe to our channel and ring what the bell to be? get notified about our latest videos. What the hell is We Bear Bears? Dude, that's how I feel about 90% of cartoons now. I I was in the hospital when we had Juliet and there was a show about a kid, I think it was like an Indian kid and a snake. Like an Indian kid and a, his pet snake. I didn't. I was like, "What the fuck is this show?" Sanji and Craig is that it? Sanjay and Craig. Okay, I don't. I don't know. There was another one about like. Uh, it was like, redneck people in a city or something. I don't know. You have the option to I be didn't, notified no, I for didn't, occasional I don't videos know what it was. or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Dark Harvest, Invader Zim. Say, you're full of organs, aren't you? This episode is, without a doubt, the most messed up thing ever to be aired on Nickelodeon. When nope. Zim fears that his alien biology will reveal his origins, uh -huh. he attempts to make his body appear more human, and the episode quickly devolves into a full-blown horror movie as Zim what? harvests organs around the school, replacing <laughs> them with everyday objects until his hunt finally ends and he steals Dib's lungs. Seriously, what? how did this one make it past the bigwigs at Nick? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Alien. Oh my god. Human organs doesn't exactly make for great children's television, but it does make Dark Harvest our choice for the number one unexpected How to get his lungs. kids cartoon episode. It is a human. It's horrible. Do you How do he get his lungs? How do he do that? I wanted to see that part. Okay. Well, that's going to be a Nickelodeon, I guess. Man. Oh, hold on. Wait, I have one more. <laughs> I have one more. Did we see this one? Buyer. I don't think Never we've seen this one. I don't think well we've seen this one. Guys. You ready? I'm saving this for later, but I'm popping it now. Because I've watched a couple. I've watched a couple Watch Mojo things tonight. They haven't been great. Um, you know, some of these have kind of sucked. Some of them have been okay. But, uh. Good answer. Good answer. I gotta pull in a, uh. I gotta pull in a heavy hitter. Another top 10 infomercial products. I love these. Latest videos. For this list, I we're love looking at even products. more crazy infomercial products. If you don't see I hope it's, uh, I hope here, it's not the same one I already saw. Number 10. Poo Trap. Introducing Poo Trap, <laughs> an amazing new innovation that eliminates the need of picking well, up after your dog. Though dog waste might seem like little more than well, an inconvenience, it hold can on. contain bacteria and parasites, which, if exposed to the eyes, can result in blindness. A dog diaper, God damn it. yeah. I'm not clean enough after your dog. You mind your own f hole. <laughs> That's not that bad, Meaning honestly. That when you don't pick up after your dog, you expose others to more than just some poop on their shoes. It's easy to install on your dog and makes your walking experience fun. Poo Trap is a product <laughs> fun? of good intentions. That's and fun? An incredibly bizarre execution. It's a brightly colored harness you strap onto your dog's rear with a tiny fun? bag attached. So that when they squat to do their business, the poo will, in theory, go straight into the bag without you having a to actually pick diaper. it up. Nice no and poops! Simple. Poo Trap is available in eight sizes and three colors. But I'm for Dude, what if you get the wrong size? That's a lot of sizes. Fortunately, it's simply too odd for most people, and probably dogs as well. As you can see, his poop is in the bag. That's the poo trap. I would not Drake. recommend this for anybody or anything. Why not? Number it works. Nine, car valet. 
If you oh, I think I've seen this one. Frustrated by no. Your cards, holders, the space they offer and the number of them available. I remember this Fret one. No more because Car Valet is here to help. Spilled coffee everywhere. We saw this Holding one during another stream a long time ago. Actual Throwback, cup. yeah. This product is basically just a this is an old cup one. and other accessory holders. But while it is a pretty good idea, the way it's advertised leaves much to be desired. Ink lemonade. Oh. Um, Who needs that many cups? I don't have a cup holder. Can I just give that? In the infomercial, we see people dropping all kinds of stuff. At one point, a woman who's talking animatedly on the phone drops the device. But luckily, Car Valet is there to catch it. I mean, that's just cool. Like stretch. So when you're facing those I, extreme I've done situations, that. you'll have just the solution you need. Right I've when you literally need it done most. that. Number eight, Booty Pop. It's here, Hollywood's hottest new trade secret, Booty Pop. Think of it like a wonder bra, but for your butt. Oh, that's ah! tight. Booty Pop is advertised as push-up panties designed to make your butt pop no matter what that's you wear. That's cool. To help raise your confidence and make you look good. Booty Pop turns a droopy derriere into a youthful looking, head turning, bootylicious booty. Despite this being a product that some women okay. would surely buy, surely. the commercial is downright patronizing claiming that the only thing women care about when buying a pair of jeans is how their backside is going to look. Cody, now you, you can get that? that fabulous figure, that bootylicious still perky exists? pop that all women want I might. without lifting a finger. It also implies get that on booty, some pop booty pop, pop. Is by celebrities, though they never actually name these alleged users. Hollywood's hottest new trade secret indeed. I paid like $20 <laughs> for this booty. Number seven, Talking TP. Don't look now, but the neighbors can see you. While some infomercial products are genuinely useful and ingenious, this is, what is not this one What is this quality? Of them. It's about as novelty-minded as you can get. You want me to uh, hook up cable in here or something? You need direct TV? Well, it's probably too late for this dump, but you know what? If you could do it for the next one, I'd be psyched. Talking TP is a toilet roll holder with a built-in speaker and microphone so you can record a message on it. Wait. This recording will then trigger every time somebody takes some paper to wipe with. This room isn't soundproof. We can hear you all the way in the den. This would obviously be terrifying if you were going to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Or if you're... A I'm installing this in the guest room. I'm going to install this in the guest room bathroom and nowhere else. Guest in somebody else's house. But what makes it even... Imagine you went to go get some toilet paper, and it's just... <laughs> and your friend is like, dude, something's wrong in there. And you're like, what are you talking about? Weirder are the example recordings used <laughs> in the commercial, and the uproarious laughter they'll supposedly inspire in bathroom That's visitors. pretty good. Oh, you want a receipt for the deposit there? Number six. Haunted bathroom. Big hot dog. This one's good. This one's good. I would get a big hot dog. Big hot dog solves all the problems and hair. This isn't to bad. Tiny hot dogs. This product aims to eliminate the problem of having your hot dogs rolling around on the grill, or worse, falling onto the ground. Big hot dog when is you're a good idea. To cook them by creating a monstrous seven-pound, sixteen-inch hot dog. I'm just getting a hot dog. We're all getting hot dogs. The makers recommend that seven you chop pounds. a massive hot dog into hot dog patties before trying to cook it. For the moment, you just make just forget like, the fact burger that it's patties. obviously easier to just buy burgers if you're gonna slice them into that shape. Got a big hunger? Yeah, but they don't look. They don't slice. taste like hot dogs. Got a tiny hunger? Got a tiny slice? Instead, let's bask I've got in the a glory big of this for commercial, a big hot dog. which is one of the most surreal me? infomercials you're ever gonna see. Mm. But the craziest thing of all, one of these what a mess! One hundred and seventy dollars. Tiny hot. Wait, what? thing of all one of these costs just 170 dollars what tiny hot dogs i'm out in packages of six for that While reason buns i'm out come in packages of eight what the heck number five potty putter golf clap wait golf i remember clap. this one we saw this one if this the one bangs. toilet paper wasn't enough ridiculousness for your bathroom, this one's cool. you can now buy your very own miniature golf set to put on the floor in front of you. Oh, this isn't the same one. This was a different one. No, do you guys remember the one I'm talking about? It was, it was like, it, it's like a golf club. Hold on. It's a golf club. I don't know if it's real. It's the golf club that you pee into. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, was it on Shark Tank? Yeah, you pee in the golf club. You put your penis in the golf club and you hold it like you're bat like you're gonna golf, but your penis is in it, and then you pee in it. 
The Euro Club. Yeah. You pee in the golf club. Now practice your putting That's what every I thought. time you take care of your other business. Just aim and Why? shoot you gotta pee the ball in your golf into the cup. You pee in the golf club. This is advertised as a way to help you practice your putting and uses the same fake you green know? as real golf courses do. Though, on a real golf course, you probably won't be trying to use the bathroom that looks at the same easy. time. I when you're bored in the bathroom, you rush, and that's unhealthy. But with the potty putter, you'll take the time to play <laughs> with your putter. Unfortunately, the potty putter raises more problems than it solves. Mainly the question of whether you set it up permanently, or do you only take it out whenever you need to go? Your potty putter That's is the perfect question. gift for the man on the go. He'll relax and think of you every time he practices putting. Number four, Doc Bottoms A Spray. Are you suffering from pungent pits, foul feet, beastly butt odor? How do you stop the stink? This commercial was deemed so shocking and inappropriate that the network running it had to pull it shortly after it first aired. Okay. Wow, oh, are you kidding? <laughs> Doc Bottoms A Spray is the world's first all over deodorant. Okay. But the infomercial doesn't play around when it comes to describing exactly which areas those problem smells arise from. Name it one. It can be used anywhere, and I mean anywhere on your body. A spray goes where other deodorants can. It targets specific odor zones, including pungent pits, foul feet, and beastly butt odor. This entire commercial is offensively over the top. It's that simple. No bacteria, no stink. Does it work? Man. We honestly don't know, but the branding and marketing certainly don't do much to endear it to mainstream consumers. Maybe it's I work good. Hard for a living. I sweat a lot. I got, I got odors in special places, and with A-spray, I don't have to worry about that anymore. My butt. Number three. That's not real. That's not a real commercial. That's that's a YouTube video. They made a content. <laughs> Why did they make that? I can't believe Watch Mojo fell for that. Number three, free flexor. You will build strength. You will get ripped. If you thought the shake weight was the most suggestive infomercial <laughs> product out there, you are sorely what mistaken. The fuck was that? Because the free flexor has more than earned that title. I'm gonna flex and bust out of here. It's called the world's first flexing dumbbell, but all it appears to be is two circular weights on either end of a stick. <laughs> the T-flexor works your muscles at every angle, in every direction. I mean, Apparently, waving this ball stick around will guarantee you get ripped. Really? Unfortunately, various fitness professionals disagree with these claims. Oh man. Stating that the free flexor is most likely nothing more than a gimmick, albeit a very sexual gimmick. She started getting that moment. What's sexual about that? It starts to go deep. You can feel it. If you really want to get buff like the guys in the ad, a gym membership seems like a much wiser investment. Is it unlimited torque? Un it's not what my genitalia looks like. Limited tension. Why is that it will sexual? Make your muscles cry. Balls? Balls are closer than that. What do you? They're not. <laughs> what? Huh? Number two, facial flex. This device <laughs> looks more like it belongs in a dental clinic than as part of Wait. the daily beauty and fitness regime. Hold on. I might buy into this. You like, you like, you know? Just keep flexing. Advertised as a product that gives you a natural facelift, the facial flex is almost as odd as the reactions of the woman trying it out in the infomercial. Lisa is a flexor. She's a user, and you can see how all of these muscles and look at her neck do you see how tight her neck mm -hmm. is and yet there are reportedly many people who swear by the facial flexes positive results i say the apartment's not the that's not a bad idea the only thing getting a facelift huh? a similar device is mm. the neckline slimmer a very unusual gadget promising to tighten your jawline eliminate your double chin wait and take years off your appearance by having you repeatedly push your head against it i it's might do that bro two minutes a day say beauty is pain but this Just stuff looks like downright torture. Uh, that sounds excellent. Number one, TV hat. <laughs> this is just <laughs> this is just VR, right? This doesn't look bad. Private, portable, Thanks, and hands-free. For any sci-fi writers who predicted a dystopian future right? in which TV replaces social interaction, 
TV hat was exactly the nightmare this is they were good. about. Listen, that hat is dope. Thanks, Tom. You mind if I rock that bad Larry on my dome? It's a visor with a very long cap that you can put your phone inside, creating a portable movie theater perfect for blocking out the rest of the world. Bro, that's Kids dope! Would love this. My husband would love this. It even includes a custom lens. Dude, I would watch I would do this shit on a flight. I would unironically use this on a flight. To make the display bigger and is shown as That's an cool as hell. To expensive VR gaming systems currently on the market. Watch what you want on your lunch break only with TV hats. While watching things on your phone hands free is a nice idea, anyone who actually wears a TV hat will never live it down. Well, You're hold about on. To lose all your friends so quickly if you get this. But you know what? I'm okay with that. Do you agree with our picks? Check. Hold on. Wait. With TV hat, I can finally watch porn in public with no repercussions. Just as God intended. TV hat. Dude, it's only $16. That's less than normal hats. Dude. Holy shit, this rules. I want a TV hat. Shut up, Mom. I'm wearing my TV hat. Dude, this is excellent. I bet that fucks up your neck. Oh, yeah. I guess that's true. And then it's like a, uh, it's like a virtual boy. Dude, I'm just saying, this doesn't look so bad. Dude, on my flight back from Summit... There was a guy with, like, you know, a red hat like this, and it said... <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can find the hat. I swear to God I saw this. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know where he found this hat. It was, it blew my fucking mind. Fuck. Hold on. I can't find it. I could not believe that this had existed. It was an old guy. How do I even find this? Damn it. It was a hat like this? It said... Shit. Check out these other... It said, make China great again, but under this it said, great wall. Make China great again, Great Wall. Swear to God. I was like, what the fuck? What does that mean? <laughs> I, I didn't know what that... It was like an 80-year-old man. Oh, I also saw Tyler 1 at the airport. Not a joke. Swear to God. Swear to God. I was at LAX. 5 a.m. I was there at like 4.30 in the morning and uh, a guy is walking by and I'm like, that guy kind of looks like Tyler. And then I look at his shirt and it says like T1 built different, all that shit. And I'm like, but by the time that I really noticed, he's already walked past so I don't stop him. I would I would have absolutely taken a picture with him. But I didn't want to chase him down and be weird. I would have asked the picture, but I did not. I It was too late by that point. So I was like, I'm not going to run after him and be weird. He was at Twitch for a Twitch Rivals bodybuilder event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I saw after. I was like, oh, fuck, that's him. He literally passed me. We made eye contact briefly. He looked at me. You should have been weird for the content. No, I can't. I can't, you know. I was sitting, so I didn't want to get up and then run over to him, you know. At him on Twitter and what? Hey, I saw you at the airport. Cool. You know? <laughs> what am I going to do there?
But it was crazy. Seeing somebody seeing somebody that you only know from online in real life is weird. Because, like, you see all the angles. You know what I mean? He's live right now? Okay. I don't... I'm not going to go into his chat. He wouldn't even see my message. And again, why would he care? <laughs> you know? Why would he give a shit? But yeah, I saw him at the airport. That was sick. It was neat. You have a check mark? True. I do. Maybe he thought the same thing about you? Yeah, no. <laughs> How would Tyler one ever know who I am? Ever. All right, fellas. We've had a lot of fun. And I'm going to watch a movie in a little bit. Okay? I've got bonus time. We got one more movie. But first... It's time to play some Chloe. Uh, I didn't realize that I had the music there. Chloe, playing some Chloe in the build. I'll rate them five stars. Sure, five stars from me. Nope, five stars, baby. Okay, so here's Chloe. So basically, uh, the way that it works is it's literally live. Uh, I have to use blue stacks. I have to. I'm using blue stacks. They told me to do this. Yeah. So we're using blue stacks. So what you do with Chloe is it's literally just live uh, claw machines. That's it. I want a Pikachu. On August 31st. I tested this before I started the bounty. Or the sponsored thing. Because I wanted to see if it was legit. So I have one. And I have free shipping. So the way that it works is. Uh, you literally just play it. And then you get it shipped to you. And it takes two weeks. Sometimes eight weeks. And I looked up a lot of things. And apparently it is legit. Like they do send you stuff. $10 shipping. Uh uh. Uh uh. No. No, it's, how do I, no, it's 50 coins, which does cost money, or VIP, which is $4. You pay $4 for VIP, but $4 is free shipping forever, for everything. You have 12,000 coins? Yep, I got them because of the promotion. Let me just make that clear. This is not my money. This is promotional stuff from them. It's 700 coins? No, it's not. Hold on, I have a free play. Daily free round. Here we go. Let's play around. Go. Uh, I have... Which one do I... Do I want red or blue? Okay. Uh... It's a little laggy. It's a little laggy. Wait. Yo! I actually won! I actually won! I want a prize! 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 What do I win? What did I get? Coins. So now I could almost ship stuff out myself. See? I got 55 coins. And also... For... for okay. I could also watch Larry play. That's something you could do. So there's like a million prizes on here. Like a Gengar plush. <laughs> there are legitimately so many fucking prizes. Please run predictions. Oh, our raccoon's kind of cute. Oh, wait, I'm level one though, so I can't do these. Wait, can I play again? It says I have another one. No. Invite friends level up bonus. Okay. Why does it say one bonus? What? Do you see this? It says one. What? Okay. Whatever. All right. Let's win surprises. Uh, by the way, you get free plays if you tried the trial with exclamation point Chloe, but you do have to pay for the shipping on the Pikachu. But like I said, it's four bucks if you want to do everything. Oh, so I have to do level ones. Okay, so I have to do these. 
What do I want to get my daughter? Cross-eyed cat. Oh, it's Cracko! Wait, did it just update? Apparently they get new prizes like every day. Giraffe, Dreamcatcher, Sunshine Necklace. Raccoon? I can't get the raccoon. It's too low. I'll get the... I'll get the Night Owl. He's cute. Alright. Oh no. Alright, here we go. Play. Ready? Go. Which way does it go? Uh, I can't tell where it is. It's like... I'm going for this one. Okay. Well, that one was a little... I, I was close. This angle sucks? Yeah, the angle's not great all the time. The angle's not great. Oh, I'm playing again. I was close! Wait, is this a different machine? Fuck, I think I'm too far. No, this is the same machine. What? There's a person? Did you see that? Dude, I got it. I got it. Okay, I think the owl is a mistake. I think the owl... I think the owl was a mistake. It's a little heavy. Okay, we're gonna get out of the owl, because we're level 2. Let's go to the level 2 prizes. I want a Gengar. Hold on. I can win a Gengar. I'm 10th in line for Psyduck? Wait, there's Psyduck? Where'd you get a Psyduck? Togepi, Squirtle. <gasps> Squirtle. Reku Psyduck! I want to play Psyduck. Dominique H. I'm up next. I get to watch her. Dominique sucks at this. Hold on. I got it. Last win was two hours ago. Hold on. I'll be the judge of that. He got that? What the fuck? I'm getting it. Reach tier two to unlock the prize. I literally did. Huh? Do I have to go... What? Am I- does this mean I'm 50% to level 2? What? Restart the app. How do I do that? I've never had to do that before. Uh... Okay. Yeah, there we go. Nope, don't spend my money. Got it. Okay. Hold on. Okay, now I'm level two. Right? <laughs> Why? What? Oh, wait, this is it. These are tiers. Take Claudia to the next tier. Unlock new prizes. How do I up tiers? Got it. Okay, right now I'm only tier one. Go to the beginner tab. There's a beginner tab. Beginners. Oh! <gasps> Side. Wait, a thousand coins? That's a lot. But there's so many. Hold on, let's watch Neoret's gameplay. Rebecca White. <laughs> That's a good scoop. A thousand coins for Psyduck? Oh my god, they're all so expensive. This is only 200, so if you download right now, you get to do this for free. It's 200, now it's a thousand. Holy shit.
Alright, I'm doing Psyduck. A thousand coins is a lot, though. Wait, what? I'm not even playing the actual thing? I'm playing with these? Okay, Ready? that's fine. Go. These are good. These are easy. Uh... Uh, my, my, my coins, what, <laughs> what, what happened to my coins, why did I lose my coins, all right, Well, um, I'll try for the Jelly Roll Unicorn. The music is so loud, yeah. All right, turn reserved. All right, I'm going to get a unicorn. <laughs> Thank you, Doc Waldorf. Why did I lose... A thousand coins for that. That's money. All right, that person lost, but I'll win. Okay. They better be paying you a lot for this, Lamal. Don't worry about it. All right. I can't really see it. I think this is good. Yeah. Chewy lemon. I have to make these coins count. I spent fifty dollars in their thing for the for the sponsor. Hold on. Try again for a better price. Ready, Hold on. Go. I'm gonna win a fucking prize. I already won a Pikachu, so shut up. Right there. Dead on. <gasps> two. I get two. I won. I won. I won. I won. Yes. Yes. Now I'm level two. Woo! I win. I won. Now I have two plushes, and I could get the both ship for free. Woo! Okay. Now I have level two, which means I can get the Gengar. Gengar champ. Here we go. <gasps> I don't care. No, no, no. I want Gengar. I can watch them. That guy sucks. Yeah! <laughs> Giving you pity money because you got scammed $50. Thanks, modem. Seems like the right thing to do would be to pay me back $50. No, I get reimbursed, though. It's 50 bucks for the sponsor, and then... Imagine if that was it. There's no money for the sponsor. It's just the $50 I get. 
Do these get shipped to you if you get them? So the way it works is that the shipping is free if you pay $4 one time, which gets you into VIP. And $4 gives you, like, daily login bonuses and a bunch of other stuff. So, like, it's worth it for the $4. Um, and then everything that you ever ship is free. You just got two Charmanders in one. Does it give you both? I was actually wondering that. Or does it only give you one? Okay. Thank you for the $50. You didn't have to do that. You did not. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right, which one do I go for? Fuck. I don't think that's it. <gasps> oh. Fuck. You think you only got one? That's what I was wondering. Man. I will not give up. The game says never give up. Okay. Stop. Fuck, I think I'm too far. I got it. Oh my god. Yes! Yes! I got a Gengar! I got the Gengar! Let's go! Let's go! I told you! Okay, listen. Listen, you guys can have your own opinion about the site, seriously, but apparently it is legit in terms of, like, winning shit. Like, I have I did research. Seriously, I did not take the sponsor for rig shit. Like, you can have an opinion about it charging too much, but you can win. It seems fine if you're into claw games. Yeah, 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 that was the thing, is like, you know, as long as there's not any fuckery going on, you know? Where did your thousand go, go go to? That's true. That is problematic. And if it was my actual money, I would probably file a complaint. Listen, I get it. Wait, side of plush is here for 370. Why was it 1k in the other spot? This one looks worse though. <laughs> <laughs> Polka dot dino. <laughs> Bulbasaur. Dude. 1k is easier to win. Oh, I get it, because they're the balls. Yeah. Do I get the Jiggly? I kind of want the Jigglypuff. The <laughs> Bulbasaur's a flat face. Sunflower earrings, pink bunny, raccoon, no prob llama poster. Can I get Mallory something? Like a crown bracelet? I'll get Jigglypuff, right? I can't believe I got Gengar. That's insane. That is insane. Oh, Cracko! I wish it was Cracko. I love Cracko. All right, let's get Jigglypuff. I think Juliet will like Jigglypuff. All right. Oh my God, those are those are actually way cuter than I thought they were. Last one was 18 minutes ago by Julia Heller Bond. Dude, these are all like single moms trying to get prizes for their kids. That's so cute. Good shit. Yeah, like the claws are strong, apparently. Ready, all right. Go. Uh. And there is a bit of lag. When you guys download it and try it, you will feel lag. I don't think I got that. No. Okay. Show us prizes when they come in. I will. I promise. Okay. Go. I can do this. I can get that one there. <gasps> Please. You really gotta scoop these up. That one looks like it's in a perfect spot, you know? Damn, I can't believe they lower the price. That's actually Ready? insane Go. that they do that. Mm. 
No, I think that's... Yeah. Fuck! Now she's looking at me. Fuck! <sighs> it's better than Star Trek. True. Oh, I leveled up. Sick. Ready? Go. I want that jiggly buff. I'm gonna go for the close one. No, oh, no, I got stuck. Fuck! <sighs> Fuck. I can do this. I can do this. Ready? Go. It's too early. Well? Well? Wait, maybe it'll count. Maybe it'll count. Fuck! Ready, I want the Jigglypuff so bad. Oh no, I feel myself getting addicted. Oh, I can feel it. This is like Dungeon Train. Dude! I can't. I shouldn't. Dude, it's only 235 now. It's only 235. It's getting. E it, it gets less and less each time. Dude. Fuck! Fuck! I can do this. Can you rotate the camera? Yeah, but it doesn't really help much. Ready? Go. So look. If I go like this, it depends on the what. See, like, I can't tell where this is. Well? I can't get these. They're too close. I can't get a Jigglypuff now. I think they're too close. I think they're too close. Fuck. Fuck. I can't. I can't. I can't get the Jigglypuffs. Okay. We gotta go for something else. Dude, the fact that you could get 200 coins for 100 coins is crazy. Like, you could just gamble these, you know? Fuck. What do I get then? I could probably get a raccoon. Let me watch. Oh my god. Sherry. Sherry, that sucks. No. I'm in. Okay. Come on. My turn. She's playing again? Sherry, it's my turn. No. Dude, you can't win that raccoon. Holy shit. You cannot win it. Did you see the claw very gently? Oh, man. I already put my money in, though. Oh, Sherry left. Sherry left. All right, I guess I'm in. I guess I'm in. Dude. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. No. No. The, you will not be refunded because it already started. It's fine. Dude. Okay. So you got to be careful with what you pick. Yellow duck. Juliet loves ducks. How big are they? They're pretty big. Hmm. How heavy are they? Damn, he almost slipped out. All right, I'll give it a shot. Chloe, you're not winning. I'm my turn. 
I go for this one back here, I think. Thank you, Jabba the Hutt. Oh, dumbass Chloe. Stupid. Thank you, whoever that was. Guys, remember, if you want to get in on the Clawy action, all you have to do is exclamation point Clawy in chat, or check the link below the stream. Okay? Basically, they let you play for free a few times. I think it's play till you win. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's play till you win. So you can get the basics down. I won first game, but it's only because it's, uh, like they give you the balls instead of the other thing. Bro, Chloe, it's my turn. She wants every duck. No, you're not gonna win. I kept losing and it kept giving me coins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And guys, I only need 30 more to hit the goal. Uh, where do I go? Down? What do you mean, down? Right. Yeah. Like this? That's not it. Well? Well? I stood the duck up. Oh my god. Like I said, there are login bonuses, so you get free credit and stuff. Because, like, I get it. Trust me. But getting a few free games a day is kind of nice. Oh, dude, maybe? Let's fucking go! Let's go! Yes! And I'm... T wait, tier three. Oh! <gasps> I could get Deadpool Bob Ross. Eggplant Duke. Crash Bandicoot? Car decal crash. I unironically love this. So I have four prizes now. So you could ship them all like this, I guess. And then go like this. Free shipping. Ship now. And then you put in your address. That's cool. Didn't want the pig. Oh, that is a pig. Oh, I like the plush. The pink one. Frankie Mouse. Two Colors Rabbit. Pig. Oh, I like that pig. Two Frogs Pins. Chat, what do I get? Mini Tom Plush Mini Jerry. I have to go low because I'm going to run out of money. Guys, I had 12000 for this whole promotion. Yoshi, you don't understand. I had 12000 for this whole promotion. And then I had to spend my own money. White bird. Chihuahua. Mew. Dude, Mew is six fifty five. A shirt. Oh, Pikachu. Wait, I got that Pikachu. Did I get a small Pikachu, maybe? Hello there, Mr. Streamer from PogChamp to Cringe Weird Champ. How would you rate your experiences of now? I I think it's PogChamp. Yahoo! Unironically. Get the pig. My mom loves pigs. I love pigs too. Do it for my mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I I I'm telling you, I unironically like this site. I do. Or this this app. Like I said, I I did research. This showed up in my sponsored, and I was like, let me look into it, and I liked it. This big ass. Oh, Cliffy. Cubone! Cubone's my favorite Pokemon! Wait. Wait, 600 for 130? Wait, do you just pick up balls? Oh, I see. Dude. Koopa. Oh, I want Cubone. I love Cubone. I'm gonna spend all my fucking money, guys. Fuck. Hold on. Let me look at the other tiers. Alright. What do I get? Play and exchange prizes to level up. 
Do I get anything here? Uh, level up bonus. Complete levels for extra coins. I almost get 60. Newbie bonus. 100 coins. Newbie bonus. 100 coins. So yeah, you get some of these. Win 50 games and get 1,000. Win 10 games and get 500. Play 40 games and get 200. It's things like that, I guess. Freebie shop. You can buy these with free tickets. I don't know how you get these, but now I have 80, so I can get free stuff. And you can buy coins, obviously. Man. All right, I'm getting the Cubone. But the problem is Cubone is, like, invite members of chat. I did! You can click on my link, please. Click on the link. Give it a shot. Listen, all you have to do is try it out. Okay. But yeah, I've heard that this is legit. I mean, in terms of, like, sending stuff. I It's clearly legit in terms of, uh... The game, right? The claw itself seems to be pretty strong. I want a Q-bone. Toad is cute, but I'm pretty sure I have that exact toad right here. No, he's different. I got this one from round one. I used to play this and I received everything I won. Okay, thank you. 550, so let me do the math. If I want a Cubone, 550 is... Oh, God. <laughs> it's better to buy in bulk. Let's say that. Man. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Man. Just get it first try. True. 43 minutes ago. Thank you, Kibi. Good pickup. Thank you, whoever that was. What are we at? 40? 38. I would like to get 65. That would be nice if we could do that. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Ready? Go. Please. Is it only for tonight? No. It runs a week. So I'll be doing this every stream for like half an hour for a few days. For a few streams. Damn. What does the goal do when you hit it? Give me lots of money! Oh, I got 60 coins. Okay. Ready? Go. No way I get it here, right? Well. <gasps> dude, come on. That dude, look at the way he's standing. Dude, this is it. This is it. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Look at that guy. I'm not giving it up. Dude, people are watching me. They want to they want that so bad. He so perfectly stood up. It's real. It's re people in line are so mad. Dude, I set it up. I told you. I told you. I've already got five prizes. I've literally only been playing this for as long as you guys have seen it. Do Among Us? Dude, I'm going to run out of prizes. What are the daily logins? Uh. Thank you, whoever that is. Oh, you get daily free round for 24, which gives you up to 1,500 coins. That's pretty good. Huh. So I think that's the goal, is you get at least one every day. Thank you, Tweak, by the way, for the sub. Congrats, by the way, on Summit. I know I told you that a lot, but good shit, dude. Seriously. Very proud of you. Um, Get the Among Us? Get among us to one of us. Well. I think we're going to have to call it for tonight. 
I think we're done with Chloe for now. But since you guys stuck around, since you guys were so good. <laughs> Who is that? We're done for now. Damn, 41. Only 24 more. I got a Psyduck and I will love him. Good shit. I was going to watch the Melee movie, but now it's 11.50. Do I want to do that? No, I'll do that tomorrow. I don't know. Keep going. I legitimately want to keep clawing. Not a joke. I want to keep doing clawy, but I have to save my resources. Okay. Thank you, Cubone. Oh, Cubone! Thank you. That's how they get your money. Yeah. What if this is all just a ploy to get influencers to play? It? You know what I mean? Like, the influencers get the 50 bucks to start, and then they just get hooked, and they keep playing. List Jumbo? Oops. Yeah, let's see if we can do some List Jumbo. I'm trying to find one more good movie. Wait. Ten biggest animals of all time. Largest waves. Magnificent ancient cities. Genius ancient vehicles. smallest things in the world. <laughs> List Jumbo is a Disney partner channel. I don't believe that. Tim rejected shark. Wait, what's parabolic? Oh, it's a drama channel. Dude, what the fuck? 3.1 million views. 4K, 712, 4K, 4K. What the fuck? That's so weird. Naked Grandma. Oh, I know these. <laughs> what the fuck is going on there? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Biggest tires? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Where am I? Ba, ba. It's like crack, the fact that it's like slightly offbeat. You know what I mean? Seven bad endings that were cooler? What, for video games? No. What's number one? Earthworm Jim. Oh, that's the one with the... Yeah, the long one. I remember that. Top 20 best cameos ever. Twenty most shocking plot twists. Hmm. I'm trying to do a claw and the person in front of me has gone fifteen times in a row. <laughs> it's a picture of addiction. Very sad. Very sad. Must have iPhone apps. Dude, List Jumbo is... I don't know. I don't know if List Jumbo is real. Twenty most infamous rip-off songs. Dude, I keep, keep getting Jacko videos in my recommended. 
Like, I don't know why I keep getting this. I mean, people are watching it. You know? People are watching it, so... Let me dig into my archive, see if I can find something. Well, you guys dig into Chloe, huh? Oh, by the way, when I was at, um, when I was at Alfred's hat, uh, house, hat. When I was at Alfred's ha house, I met Josh and Alltrive. It was nice. We got to meet in real life. Wait, did I watch this? Top 10 times video game streamers got what they deserve. I watched the top 10 times they cheated. Oh, wait. Yeah, I did because this guy had a gun. Now I remember. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I remember. I couldn't remember. Bum, 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 bum. The worst YouTubers. Dude, EE's uh, explaining the thick clip is at 350k. Man. What a movie. Number go up. this top 20 musicians who destroyed their careers on stage <laughs> huh thank you ds4m hold on i'm cleaning out my folder see i've got things in here but they're all like 20, 30 minutes. Actually, wait. No, I have one more. 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 All right. Last movie of the night. The top 10 reasons Chief Wiggum should be fired. Final movie. I need to know. I have to know. I forgot that I saved this. I need to know what he did. What did he do? Welcome to watch Mojo. What is he up and to? Today we're counting down our picks for the top Not a Simpsons fan? Chief then Wiggum leave. Should be fired. Get out. Chief, we got a problem here. I see a vase, but Eddie sees two people in profile. Now this may shock you. Damn, what a bad job right. he is doing. Hold it right there, Sideshow Bob. True. You're under arrest. How could somebody be a police officer uh, and yeah. make this many mistakes? It's a good thing you drifted by this brothel. Looks to me like he suffered a lot, Chief. Oh, jeez, Lou. How long are we going to let me keep drinking this thing? Wait, this what? Chief number 10. He's incredibly lazy. <laughs> Chief Wiggum would much rather Wait, are we just going to go through, like, personality traits? It's not unusual to find him sleeping on the job or otherwise That's true. ignoring his duties. That's true, what yeah. What in God's name are you doing? No, he does do that. Seven Evergreen he is garden. lazy. No, that's next door. <laughs> well, that in is one true. episode, he goes after a reckless Homer and Snake brawling on top of a car. Their crime? In the words of Wiggum, waking a police officer. What the? This is Wiggum reporting a 318, waking a police officer. And another, he ignores an emergency call while waiting for a lottery drawing to be announced. <laughs> Claiming the number this of is so good because these are just like throwaway one-liner bits. You're about to start, Chief. No, you got the wrong number. This is 912. Well, it's important to be rested for the job. Chief Wiggum definitely takes it a step too far. That, again, you know what? Very even handed. Very even handed, Watch Maybe Mojo. He's better off sleeping. Number I'm nine, glad you're being rational about this. Smoothies instead of finding Lisa. Like Homer, Chief Wiggum has a hard time saying no to his appetite. But even the Simpson father would know better than to get something to drink instead of looking for a missing child. What? Why can't you just accept the fact that Lisa is old enough to take care of herself? Back off and let her live her life. But she's only eight. Are these all just like one-line jokes? 
that they turned into a video? In season 15's Smart and Smarter, Lisa, jealous of baby Maggie's newly discovered That's so weird. Goodbye, Maggie. I'm smart enough to know you're better off without me. Homer and Marge enlist the help of Springfield's Dude, this site is and fascinating. Proposal is to Watch buy Mojo is crazy. Looking good, boys. Now let's go get some smoothies. Lisa is eventually found safe, and she helps Maggie to save their family. But as per usual, Chief Wiggum provides little more than hilarious incompetence. Number eight, he mistreats Lou. <laughs> Great bosses inspire their employees to be the best they possibly can. That doesn't describe Chief Wiggum, who regularly treats Officer Lou as a nuisance I, that he can't stand listening to. I can't Quite tell if this is I satire or not. The, sergeant so fast it'll make your head spin. the worst part? Lou is usually right, and Wiggum completely refuses to heed his common sense. In one episode, Wiggum arrests an innocent sideshow Bob despite Lou informing him that his brother already confessed to the crime. Cecil just voluntarily confessed, Chief. I had some good work, Lou. You'll make sergeant for this. Uh, I already am sergeant, Chief. Perhaps you are. But I say Bob goes back to jail. In the Simpsons movie, Lou tells him Fat Tony and his mafia crew are likely disposing of a body. Why is this Not sideways? The trimmings, as they claim. Is Watch and Mojo and avoiding DMCA? Uh, Chief, I think there was a They body. are! What no, the fuck? Until he said yard trimmings. You gotta learn to listen, Lou. This is if so weird! Springfield... Lou would be the one calling the shots. Dude, who owns Number this seven, fucking channel? He Ralph from the evidence locker. Chief Wiggum definitely seems to love his son Ralph, but a loving father isn't always a good one. Ralph certainly. This is fascinating, dude. Oh yeah, the kid's incredible. I mean, the how do they do this? All over him. In season 16's Midnight RX, it is Disney. I forgot about that. They're the Disney now. Yeah. To go to desperate lengths Man. to get their much-needed pills. Following the lead of Springfield Nuclear Power, other local companies are canceling their prescription drug plans. Wiggum turns to using contraband drugs in the evidence locker to treat his son. Immediately, the effects of these inappropriate medications are shown, with Ralph's pupils dilating to an impossible size and yeah. him exclaiming a classic Ralphism. <laughs> Someone needs to call the police on this police officer, along with Child Protective Services. Number six. He didn't help Apu and Manjula save their kids. If you need this help is... getting your kids back, don't expect Chief Wiggum to help. In this episode, Apu and Manjula's... This Manjula is the weirdest list I've ever seen. ...are held hostage at a zoo for a live entertainment show. Our babies are not circus freaks. We're taking them home now. Hold on, Alpo. We got a contract. Bro, can we hit 65? Surely we can, right? We're so close. Only 17 more. So they go down to the police we do have a week station to try to, to enlist it. Wiggum's help. Right away, Wiggum says he's powerless, and it's immediately clear that he's Man. been bought off, as shown by the giant sack of elephant-grade peanuts right beside him. Zookeeper paid you off, didn't he? Paid me off? What are you, crazy? The octuplets are saved, but once again, the characters and viewers see just how useless Chief Wiggum is. I mean, maybe you guys could do different accounts, too. I don't know. Won't help us with you know, I'm not saying you should. Yeah, or that it yeah, works. A lot of people are doing that these days. Number five. But it might. Didn't believe the liquor store robbery. It's good to have you know? some skepticism, but not at the level of Chief Wiggum. You when know, Bart's elephant Stampy goes on a rampage. The police I tried, they don't give you free coins. Oh, really? About his what if you do a different email account? Yeah, Thank you, Chai right, SSP. Elephant ran through your front yard. Okay. You got a Pikachu from Cloy? Dude, I'm telling this, you, it's right you, after, you win. You actually win. It's just shipping it to you, right? You got to pay for that. After he answers one about a liquor store robbery involving an officer who's been shot. Wiggum. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's not a scam that way. Robbery, officer down. Sure. And I'm Edward G. Robinson. His bored demeanor and sarcastic responses alone are enough to disqualify him for his job. But it's also clear that Wiggum's inaction actually makes his community even more dangerous. Wiggum. Yeah, right, mister. Mm -hmm. An elephant just knocked over your mailbox. Okay. Did he read The Boy Who Cried Wolf I went from Wolf guest to Gmail, no sign-up coins, and I Number lost four, my prizes. Got him. Telling Bart to jump. Chief Wiggum has the power to speak out against what? mistreatment and help people feel safe. But he'd much rather add to the pylon. Thanks, Chief. Got my drink, son. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. I remember He's this. Back. Everybody back, hated everyone. Bart because he did something. I, I think he lost a baseball game. Yeah.
In this season 18 episode, Bart causes his baseball team to lose the championship. Why do I know that? This is season 18. Championship. I would never and watch this willingly. He's hated by everyone in town. Top 10 animal zoo escapes. <gasps> Save this for later. That's sick. Guy, okay, not tonight. Not tonight. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Guys, if you ever... Do so the the Discord is now Chloe posting. If you guys ever wanna wanna do something, go to the Discord, watch this video. That's it. This is where this lives now. Put it in here. Maybe we'll make our own uh watch mojo thing, but from the dam No, not now, not now, not now, not now. It's too You're late. You're listening to KBBL, your official Bard Simpson suck station. Oh, and here comes another bash. Bard Where do I find Black, the Coney Discord? You have to and sub. It it's sub only, Bard and then it's sticks. it's when you just connect it to yeah, your Discord. Yeah. It works. This torment gets so bad, he climbs up a water tower, ready to plunge to his death. A crowd forms to watch, here which includes our not so sensitive chief. Bard, stop! No one's mad at you anymore, right? Mm, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, jump. Oh, who said that? After everyone agrees they are no longer angry at Bart, a voice is heard from a bullhorn telling him to jump. Who yeah, I heard it. it. Have been? Number three. I heard it, yeah. Releasing Snake and other criminals from jail. <laughs> All these items are worthy Thanks. of firing, but this one is grounds for Chief Wiggum being What's my favorite fruit? Himself. When Bart and Lisa's hockey teams Peach. face off against like each peaches. other, Bart's coach, I think. Wiggum, visits the jail to tell Snake and others they can come watch the game if they promise to return to jail. All right, I'm going to make a little deal with you, Muggs. I'm going to let you all out to see my team play the hockey said game. Ten. If you promise What's your favorite number? Yourself. Ten. Ten. Despite Ferd, it's ten. 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 I, why is Ferd here? Why? Do I, 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 Dude, I, I can't believe he's here. I can't believe he's here. You're here at that styles. exact moment. Snake still <laughs> says no, but Wiggum's not ten. hearing it. Ten. 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 Game. You don't have to come back. But Not ten subs, ten goals in Chloe, ten downloads and completions of the tutorial in Chloe. That's what I like. Not to commit any more crimes, okay? No. I'll take that as a yes. Predictably, things end up in chaos. Hey, at least Snake knows about the importance of honesty. Those kids are like so sweet. <sighs> if only they had had Pee Wee hockey when I was a lad. Oh, well. Cody has an extension two, to highlight Ferd's name. Shooting the captain of the high school basketball team. He did do that. I forgot about that. Number two. Yeah, he shot the tall guy. Shooting the captain of the high school basketball team. Now, this is, so this is a Halloween episode, so it's technically not canon. However, it's not too far from something Wiggum would do in a normal episode. It kind when of giant is. advertising mascots come to life and run amok in someone. Springfield. Chief Wiggum quickly puts an end to one leaving a big and tall clothing shop. Ah, there, yeah, Treehouse is non canon. But this his is stupid. is quickly cut short when Lou informs him he actually shot the captain of the high school basketball team. Stupid. Uh, Chief, there wasn't a monster that was the captain of the high school Thank you, whoever team. that is. Wiggum's sheepish Doesn't give me names. that he was turning into a monster wouldn't hold up in any court. To be fair, that's one tall high schooler. 15 right. more. Yeah, well, yeah, he Come on, fellas. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. He destroyed the church. You were the wind beneath my ass. The church? Is this the movie? This... No. Stealing money from Evidence Locker for Ralph's birthday party. This money has been sitting here since 1998, not doing anybody any good. I want to get Ralphie something nice. Yeah, a few thousand should do. He didn't stop the Ogden I mean, from entering he's the He's kind of right about Aye, that. Boys, round them up. Why not? And throw them the swing of this soiree they've ever seen. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe. What's the worst thing he's ever done? I'm trying to think to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Now it's like trivia. This is like Simpsons trivia. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or something only. related to if Ralph. Phone, Probably. Make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Probably. Number 1 is corruption. <laughs> what the fuck? Thank you Trisky. 
Chief Wiggum is all about protect this and is... serve. That is, if we're talking about protecting himself. And Shut the TV interests. instead of use the remote. Simpson, but uh, we can't hold him. There's no evidence. Yes, there is. There's a this garage. Is... We'll okay. The jeans. Uh, they've, uh, mysteri- this is a bad list. You know what? That's what you get with Watch Mojo. Sometimes it's a good one. Sometimes it's uh, it's not so good one. Yeah, man, that was a tough one. We had a couple of good movies tonight, honestly, but but not a lot of great ones on tonight's perusal. Unfortunately, Th- does the TV have a different font? Yeah, I think so. I think it's got a different one. I think I need to fix it. I think it, it got mixed up. Man. Watch Mojo is so hit or miss. Guys, if you find if you want if you want to go and look and find anything, like the greatest animal zoo escapes, please feel free to send it my way. I will I'll include it on a list in the future. The problem is there are so many fucking things that like I can't I can't go through it all. They upload five times a day every fucking day. It's insane. Mediocre movie night, kinda, yeah. But a great night uh, nonetheless. We talked about Summit. We talked about some other stuff. It was good. It was a good stream. Played a lot of Clawy. That was fun. Alright, let's go to um Damn dude, everybody's streaming tonight. What the heck? Go to Simply. Simply is never on when I'm when I'm on. We'll go to Simply. And remember, you can check out Chloe even when I'm not live. You can do it. Or grab your parents' phones. Try that out with their permission, you know. Win them some nice prizes. I bet they'd like that, you know. Stream tomorrow. I don't know what we're doing. I'll figure something out. I don't know. Maybe Spookware. I think I'd like to play a game. I'd like to play a video game. I think. Yeah. Good night. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. Good night.